last one to arrive is finally here. I hope you don't think you're special. It would be a shame if freedom went to your head. Or if you somehow got the idea you didn't need to pass your trials to become Sith. Lord Zash has tasked me with sorting through you refuse to find one worthy of being her apprentice. And I intend to do just that. Don't get all sentimental on us. We've only just met. I won't. Now the rest of you gutter trash already know your trial. Get going while I bring our latecomer up to speed. Watch your back, friend. And don't worry. It'll be all right. He can't kill us all. I'll attack from the front. You attack from behind and we'll see how he fares. Uh, yeah. Looks like you can handle yourself. Now, slave, for your trial. There's a hermit named Spindrol who lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Spindrol's a lunatic, but Lord Zash sees him as some kind of prophet. Once you find him, he will test you. The more challenging, the better. But there, you know your task. Spindrol lives in the tomb of Ajunta Paul in the Valley of the Dark Lords. Don't keep Spindrol waiting, slave. Last, a worthy disciple. Be gone. Slave, welcome to my humble hole. You are here for your trial, yes? To learn the ways of the Sith from a doddering old man in a tomb, and hopefully to return to your master with the mark of my approval. Actually, I just came to get some fresh air. Do you take me for a fool? No one comes into these tombs for the sheer pleasure of it. Not even me. No, they come for power, because they sense that these tombs hold secrets of the dark side. And they do. But before you can learn them, you must pass a trial of blood. Survive this, and I will teach you what I know. Thank you. 
excellent. These former acolytes wanted nothing more than to earn their second chance for glory by killing you and taking your place. But your desire proved stronger, and their blood became the mantle of your victory. Well done. But you are not Sith yet. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. This is the Sith Code. Commit it to your heart, and you will have the strength to crush your enemies. Do you understand? Of course. I was born to be Sith. Good. Then go. Return to Harkon and nurture your hatred for him. And use your fear of him to grow stronger. He may raise his fist to strike, but it is Lord Zash who determines where the blow will land. But who controls Zash, I wonder? When you know the answer to that, you will have power over both your masters. Now, go. Leave me to my rest. You must be one of the slave acolytes. Pretty easy to see why Overseer Harkon was horrified. Regardless, Lord Zash has made it clear that all new acolytes must learn martial skills as well as face their trials. Though why anyone thinks you can be taught is beyond me. Watch yourself. I don't respond well to idiots with big egos. I'm fluttering with fear. Fluttering. You will find the instructors in the Academy's archive. Hurry, and try not to embarrass your betters. one. Always the latecomer. Now we can see what the hermit thinks of you, slime. Hmm. Acolyte Cory. Step forward, please. Yes, Overseer. 
You are a weak, pathetic rodent, and even a lunatic like Spindrawl can see this. And that means... Meet our newcomer, Fon Alt. This is real Sith strength, and he will tear you apart and crush your bones, slaves. Look on him. No connections left in the world but pure Sith blood. This, this is Lord Zash's future apprentice, not filth like you. Congratulations on your new pet. Now give us the next trial. Step this way, slave. I want to speak to you privately. The rest of you, get out of here. You know your trials. You too, Fon. Spindrel awaits. Now, listen to me. Spindrel is a lunatic. His approval means nothing. You are filth, and you will die. Is that clear? You think you scare me? You're nothing, and don't forget it. Now, your second trial. Lord Zash has requested a special trial for you, which you will no doubt fail. Go to Inquisitor Zinn in the jails. He will fill you in on the details, and most likely hasten your demise. Don't count on my demise, Harkon. I don't die easily. Don't boast, slave. I don't want to see you again until you're back from the jails. That's all. New recruits are worthless. Braggarts, children, slaves. Not even a pure blood among them. <sighs> Acolyte, you've arrived. And not a moment too soon. Harkon has given me very specific instructions. You were raised as a slave, but must discard those traits and learn to control others. And I have just the task for that end. Meet this driveling excuse for an acolyte. He will be your victim. Victim, huh? This sounds like it could be fun. This is not an idle diversion, acolyte. A short while ago, there was what we call an unauthorized murder here in the Academy. A rivalry among apprentices resulted in death. Interrogate him. Make him tell you who committed this crime at any cost. Cover your ears. This may get a little loud. Thank you for the warning, but I prefer to cherish every scream. Please, don't hurt me. I don't know anything. Scream, weakling. I want to hear your suffering. Please, don't do that again. I'll do anything. Entertain me. Give me a song or something. Sing? Are you serious? I mean, sure. Yes, I... What should I... I don't care. Just make it something cheerful. Um, okay. All right. Um... <clears throat> they say it's a perfect galaxy. A great day to be alive. De dum de dum de dum I'm sorry, I'm, I'm too nervous. I can't remember any of the words. Please, just, just let me go. You really need to learn to project your voice. Ah! Ah, stop! Please! All right, I'll talk. You'll kill me, but I'll talk. The murderer is an apprentice named Esor Kayan. You'll have to protect me, or he'll kill me. That's not my problem. No, that's how it always is, isn't it? It's not anyone's problem until there's a lightsaber at your throat. Maybe if I'm lucky, Kane will put me out quickly. You don't have to tell me I heard the name loud and clear, though I sorely wish I hadn't. S or Kane. Kane's master is a Dark Council member. 
I'd be a fool to oppose him. But anyway, your trial here is done. I will send my commendations to Overseer Harkin. You may return to him now. What, no more torture? Oh, but I was just getting started. I know, I know. It's so hard to stop once you've started. Perhaps later, if you survive your trials. It has been most pleasant watching you work, Acolyte. Truly, I wish you the best of luck in your remaining trials. I had been looking forward to cutting another one of you down, but it looks like I'll be spared the trouble. Unsurprisingly, Nylock has gone missing. Also unsurprisingly, Fon has passed his first trial. It's only a matter of time before he tramples you all underfoot. I'll tear you apart where you stand, slave. Patience, Fon. An accident in the tombs is much more convincing. Now the lot of you know your next task. Go. I want to speak to Fon and our latecomer. Now, slave, Zin says you handled yourself expertly, and as much as I find this difficult to believe, Lord Zash is satisfied with his evaluation. Undoubtedly, Zin helped you in some way, but you will not have his help on the next trial. Both you and Fon will have trials of intellect, trials that test your ability to apply your understanding of the Force to solve problems. You don't expect a slave to be a match for me in intellect. I've been trained under the greatest teachers. Calm down, Fon. I certainly do not expect this slave to be a match for you. That's why you will have separate trials. It's okay. I can handle anything Fawn can handle. You're only digging your own grave. Fon, you will go to the library on the second floor of the Academy and translate the following texts for Lord Zash. Yes, Overseer. Slave, deep in the ancient, monster-infested tomb of Marker Ragnos, there is a holocron filled with dark secrets and encased in a great stone monument. No one has figured out how to release the holocron from its stone prison in over a thousand years. You will bring this holocron to me, or you will die. Well, it beats going to the library, I suppose. Spoken like the idiot you are. You will bring back the Holocron, or hope that the spirit of Marker Ragnos himself returns to end your miserable existence. Now go. What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone.
Let's see how you like this. Just open, damn it. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Hmm. A fake. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. And your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I really am the best. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. 
Lord Zash wants this text. But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. Yes, yes, yes. You send me into a tomb to do the impossible, hoping I die, and I come back and prove you wrong. Shut up, slave. I've had about enough of your mockery. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Horde's tomb. Out of my sight, slave.
Yes. Yes, remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. What? No. Acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? It was actually quite simple. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? I had to sacrifice seven to Carter and eat their hearts. Really? How strange. It didn't work when I tried it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Really? Harkon seems to favor Fawn. Harkon's only purpose is to weed out the weak. Beyond that, his opinion means nothing. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Well, First Lord Zash stopped me to tell me how amazing I am, and then we got talking, and I suppose I lost track of time. Just like a slave to make up stories. Lord Zash would crush you like a gizka if you ever crossed her path. You're not worthy of her presence. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? Of course. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. Please tell me Fawn can come. We'll have so much fun. Fawn has been training at combat his whole life. He was born to be Sith. You are just as likely to chop your own arm off as not, slave. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. You don't want to keep the instructors waiting. At last, a worthy disciple. Be gone. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? We've Harkon, right? Sorry it had to be this way. We don't like it any more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, man. I liked you. I really did. But Harkon made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. If you're going to kill me, then do it. I'm sorry. I really am. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte.
Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. So I just killed Fawn and I'm Sith, right? This shouldn't take long. Wrong. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? I think I can do that much. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started. So my advice? Run, slave. Run. Um, one moment, please. Lord Zash, what are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No, of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? He finished his trial early, so I sent him on rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this acolyte brought from Tulak Hord's tomb, and it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. Well, well, well. It's a good thing I didn't start running, isn't it, Harkon? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... What, give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? Now, my dear Acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Naga Sado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dishard. But be careful, he is very dangerous. I have yet to meet a danger I cannot defeat. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? Yes, Lord Zash. Good. And good luck, acolyte.
Isis amin's why heist fools. Kawan tidak seek from Tauhans. Tau kita melaswe sama world sign in merem nai saya kat rawat deda. Tak kasar cais and parks prize war pairing suase ik bus karat deda. Your defiance is foolish and misplaced. Aba barna habans kalau bena ni in usakui usi terens api pau. Was jabe wise jabe prophetis wisan jagara hitang. Shut up. You are my slave now. Was jabe wise jabe prophetis wisan jagara hitang. We kill Dubai's kuibans mana. Twadi and warpai and parlay kind. Jaus erpai rojandan in bise wistai. In biso ze waitai spila pres in kretai. In bise e wanata atragata in jais. Obey or perish. Sisunja. Targi skolan. Arunjamunja.
Jabe, right there, Jabe. I'm telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Dashad across the chasm, but I could not get to it. But the map, the map! Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map! I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. No one is ever going to get that map! Sorry I'm late, but I have the map. The map? And... the Dashad? Get that monster out of here this instant! And give me the map! No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth, you must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release the monster? Sai galut saida, iswis us uf bundan ja atnam in puidangar ja. Right. You... you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this! Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp after you personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. Eat them both, Kim. Keep your pet at bay for just a moment, Acolyte. I would have a word with Fawn. Lord Zash? Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Here, Lord Zash. R right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. You are one dead man. Silence! Fawn will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. Now, one more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh, I, no, uh, no. No, I, I didn't, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Hearken, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool! <laughs> There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. As you say. This is not the end. Without Lord Zash to save you, you're nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. That's big talk for a worm like you. Get out of my sight, slave. Your new master is waiting for you upstairs. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. You know, I could have taken Fawn. You didn't need to kill him for me. Yes, of course. But it wouldn't have made that stubborn overseer respect your power. So I reminded him of mine instead. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map you brought back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Murder and mayhem await. Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. You must meet me on Drummond Cars. There we can talk more. Why must we go there? That is where the map leads, though I likely would have taken you there anyway. The capital of the Sith Empire is a good place for an apprentice to start. I will meet you in my chambers in the Citadel in Cars City. There we can speak more freely of the work ahead without the fear of unfriendly ears. This is the lightsaber I had as an apprentice.
I want you to have it. I shall wreak havoc with it wherever I go. Magnificent. No doubt you will. Now remember, my chambers, the Citadel, Drummond Kaas. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. Stop right there, slave. Darth Scotia has a message for you. I am a Sith apprentice. Show some respect or I'll smash your face in. Shut up, you insignificant worm. The message is this. You will not go to Drummond Kass. Everything you've done here, everyone you've dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Corriban. He knows what your master is up to, and he is displeased, to say the least. On Korriban, Lord Zash may have her way, but on Drummond Kass, it's a different story. So you see, you have to die. Kem, what is it you do to force users again? Gibai Iswis Aman Hanguijins. Autosin, is that a Dashard? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Coward! Fight, you fool!
Selon se kari kai. In bizo se waitai spira press in kretai. In bize e wanata atragata in jais. By the time we are done, you will have fed to excess. Anims jai fragibans. In bate sunjas. Puijangardos wai parpana. Quiet, bodyguard. Save your hissing for your own kind. As for you, slave, Darth Scotia is passing. Best get out of his way. Darth Scotia can wait. You're making a huge mistake, filth. Give your master a message for me. My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Drummond Cast. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. What do you think? Can you eat him? Jani Bragais, uns in Freis Tubnajal. Ha! Fools!
dark side swells within you. I sense you will go far. Are you acquainted with a big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord? He had a message for you. Damn Scotia! What business has he, going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Now, ever since I arrived on Drummond Cast as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ustaitnians <laughs> anparana rahitis ni aino. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhod's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. Somebody should stop him from breathing, then. Yes, and that somebody is you. You are going to kill Scotia for me. Finally, a challenge worthy of me. Good. That is precisely the attitude you'll need. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. So what am I supposed to do? I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves and contact me by holler communicator. In bizoze waitai spira press in kretai. In bize e wanata atragata in dice. Ready for departure. for departure. Enjoy your stay.
You found the archaeological plans. Hope there's not too much blood on them. Oh, no, no. I've read much, much worse. Now, let me see. Ah, yes. How clever. There's a chamber hidden under the Colossus itself. I bet my complete collection of Nagasado's Yavin 4 writings that you'll find what we're looking for in this chamber. I'll get inside if I have to destroy the whole Colossus. Such zeal. But destroying the Colossus won't be necessary. There should be a hidden entrance near the Colossus. It looks like Scotia has an entire underground base. You're looking for a tablet. The tablet is the symbol of leadership of an obscure Trandoshan cult. The lizards believe it was a gift from their deity, the Scorekeeper. Scotia stole the tablet and uses it to exert control over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Give them their relic, and Scotia's power over his bodyguards will turn to vapor. His own defenses will be his downfall. You could try it. It might weaken him a little. Scotia's not stupid enough to retain guards who could actually overpower him. The main thing is to keep Scotia's bodyguards off you. The plans suggest Scotia's apprentices guard this base. I don't doubt they hold the keys to acquiring the Trandoshan tablet. Best kill them all, to be sure. Inubis just nas jans, now me pan astana tods jans. Yeah. <laughs> 
The dark side swells within you. I sense you will go far. I've recovered the Trandoshan relic. Then we've both had success in our endeavors. But the Trandoshan bodyguards are only part of Scotia's defense. His greatest weakness is that he's mostly machine. The rogue Sith Lord, Gratham, is holding a cyborg expert named Dorotsek captive. He has developed a neutralizer for me, the kind that should destroy Scotia's cyborg elements. Find Dorotsek, get him to tell you where the neutralizer is, and then silence him. You want me to kill him? Whatever it takes. Gratham's estate is in the jungle. Interrogate the scientist. With any luck, Scotia will soon be out of our way and then we'll be free to pursue Tulak Horde's lost power as we please. 
ustait nians an parana rahitis ni aino. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Tell me, Lord Zash sent you. Please, I can't stand it here any longer. I don't want to die. 
I understand you've created a device that can harm cyborgs. Give it to me. The device? Oh, you mean the neutralizer, the cyber neutralizer. My finest work yet, though I don't quite see what the use of it is. Why to fell a Darth, my anxious friend? But that's just what I'm saying. I don't know how useful it actually is. Lord Zash commissioned this weapon against cyborgs. The thing is, most cyborgs are only 10% machine. You'd need someone at least 50% machine for the neutralizer to do any real damage. Oh, my mark's 50% machine. At least. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. If you want it, take it. It's only a prototype, but I guess it'll work if there's one droid you really want to bash. It's in the lab building. Can't be missed. But Grantham wouldn't let me have the power cells I need to power it. You'll need to steal those off his droids. Looks like it's your turn to die now. No. Please. Lord Sash said she'd free me. Buns.
Not a moment too soon, apprentice. Tell me we were successful. Tell me you have the tech we need to destroy Scotia. It's time to kill Scotia. Fantastic. Magnificent. Perfect. Then the time to do the deed is now. Scotia is in his chambers as we speak. Be ready. Even with the power you have over him, he will be a frightful sight. Set your nerves of cortosis. Turn your fear into hatred. Remember, Scotia stands between us and glory. Let's get to the killing. Good. Now listen closely. This is how you will kill Scotia. The relic you found under the Colossus is the key to Scotia's power over his Trandoshan bodyguards. Go to Scotia's chambers and show them the relic. The Trandoshans should stand down, or attack him or something. The confusion should be enough. This is the first step. Then I use the anti-cyborg prototype to disable him, right? Exactly. With the bodyguards gone, you can get close enough to Scotia to use the prototype you stole from Graffens. But be mindful. Scotia may be more machine than man, but he's no weakling in the Force. Killing him will still be a challenge. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. Oh, I wish I could be there to see the contortions on Scotia's malformed face when you destroy him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm due to make an appearance at a party in the Nexus Room Cantina. Meet me there when you're done. Nothing yet. What makes this slave so bold as to enter my chambers? Tell me, slave, are you insane or do you have a death wish? I've been asked to kill you, and I hate to disappoint. <laughs> Skisk. Kill him. I'm your master now. And scoff. I can ask. Akrivo takes his yazin. Nak. Mooja. Burda rukwa. Chartesa. Clever. Zash must have stayed up many a night to think of that one. I suppose you'll be sending my bodyguards away now, or maybe you'll order them to kill me. It should at least be entertaining. Tear him to pieces. You shouldn't have done that. The bodyguards, they're nothing. Show. But you subverted my authority took my slaves from me, and that makes me angry. And killing you will be over too soon. No, I think you're going to have to suffer first. <laughs> This ha did you Zash 
Sash! You've killed me! Weaklings are like clay in my hand. Mindless. You don't know what Zash can do. Think. Think of how many years she must have spent plotting my death. She will kill you, just like she's killed me. If that day comes, I'll be ready for her. Destination? Sandans, ni namans for exist. Well, when I'd heard she'd taken up with a Mandalorian, I was scandalized. A Mandalorian? Does nobody value Sith blood these days? I know, I know. Don't you think so, Zash? The places I mean, why has fools go and did I seek from Tauhans? I'm sorry, will you excuse me? I need to have a quick chat with my apprentice. If you must. Now, as I was saying. Thank the Emperor you've arrived. It doesn't matter how much one drinks. These parties are just dull, 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 dull. I hope you've come to cheer me up. I have dismantled the machine. He's dead then? Excellent. You have performed magnificently, Apprentice. None of this would have been possible without you. Lord Zash. Darth Anaton. I'm honored. Uh, yes. I'll just let you two chat. Don't go anywhere just yet, Apprentice. This call won't take long, and I have some further instructions for you. As I said, my lord, I'm honored. But why call me? You have nerve, Zash. Nerve. But I thought you were smarter. With all respect, Darth Anaton, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play ignorant with me, Zash. Scotia's dead, and you killed him. Scotia? Dead? That's the first I've heard of it. When did this happen? Just now, Zash, and you know it. What did you expect to gain? His position? His title? You know it doesn't work that way. Where's your discretion? Discretion? I've been at this party for ages. I may have had a little much to drink, but I'm fairly certain I haven't murdered anyone. Though I have always fancied Scotia's chambers. So much more shelf space. Zash, I don't want to have this conversation by hollow. Report to my chambers immediately. Yes, Darth Anaton. It'll be my pleasure. What was that all about? Give me time to talk to Thanaton and then meet me in Darth Scotia's chambers. And don't worry. You've played your part. Now it's time for me to play mine. We did it, Apprentice.
destination. Yeah, there he is. It's Lord Zash's apprentice. Surely he knows. You wouldn't tell us if he did. Warbeins brigan iswis buidan. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Colonel, let it rest. I will not let it rest. Everyone knows Lord Zash was at the party when Scotia was killed, and yet everyone knows she killed him. She somehow devised a way of being in two places at once. If I let it rest, we'll all be dead. That's not fear I smell, is it? No, of course not. But one must be ever vigilant on Drummond Cast so that your enemies don't gain an advantage. Maybe you shouldn't talk so much, then. But I must know. Please, you must tell me. How did Zash kill Darth Scotia? Actually, I killed Scotia. Clearly he's not saying anything, Conan. Let it rest. Fine, then. Fine. But I'm warning you, Calaveras. Lord Zash is becoming too powerful too quickly. Since when has anyone in the history of the Sith committed a murder so brazenly, yet made it appear that she was somewhere else the entire time? It's enough to wake the Emperor, I tell you. Perfect timing, Apprentice. I just met with that insufferable Thanaton, and I have good news. Everyone's talking about how you killed Scotia. Good. Let them talk. They can't prove anything, and it'll drive them mad. And my meeting went exactly as I planned. You would have been proud of me. I went into a reprimand, but I emerged a Darth. Do I get a promotion too? For now, you remain my capable apprentice. However, a Darth can raise an apprentice to a Lord. So your prospects just improved. Remember the map you found on Korriban that pointed us to the power of Tulak Horde? The first piece of that artifact, that power, is here on Drummond Kaas. This piece is in the deepest chamber of the Dark Temple. Scotia always hoarded the key to the chamber like a hut hoards his credits. Now I have Scotia's title, his chambers, his research, and his key. He always said I would enter the Dark Temple over his rusting corpse. However, I won't be the one to go into the Dark Temple. You will. I always have to do your dirty work. Before I went to Korriban to choose an apprentice, a furious apparition awakened in the Dark Temple, implacable in its anger, murdering all who trespassed on the innermost chamber. But I had a dream. An apprentice of low origin humbled himself before the apparition, pacifying it. That's why you and your peers were singled out. I always knew I was special. You've been a far more capable apprentice than I ever hoped. But for this task, you must put aside your pride. You must go into the temple and face the apparition. And when you do, I believe that your humility will be the key. Still, I want you to know, I'm not certain you're the one from my dream. I fear I may be sending you to your death. You're a Sith. Start acting like one. You're right. You retrieved the Holocron from Korriban when no one else could. If that's not proof of your destiny, I don't know what is. Tulak Hold's power awaits us both. We must not lose sight of this goal. Use this glyph to enter the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple. Humble yourself before the apparition, and bring back the piece of the artifact.
Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Please use all products only as intended. Be well.
talking about? Ah, you don't know me. Has our family fallen so far that the son of my sons does not know the name of Kallig, the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith? You are my descendant. By how many generations I do not know. But know this, your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. I thought I was crazy. Do not mock me, child. You do not even begin to understand who you are dealing with. When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone, that your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. But I'm a former slave. That is my shame. I was once one of the greatest lords of the Sith. If I had been wiser, I could have secured my family's greatness. But I let down my guard and was betrayed by a man called Tulak Horde, whom I trusted as a friend. I places Amin's why heis fools, ka wan dida seek from Tauhans. Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalid now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. Do not interrupt again, or there will be no feeding for you for a long time. Taupain aipain, tarahita bawarp. Good. You must not take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Don't worry about me. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. It wouldn't be worth taking otherwise. Just keep your eyes open. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again.
Apprentice, do you have the artifact yet? What do you think? Of course. Brilliant. Magnificent. Hurry back to Scotia's, I mean, my chambers. I cannot wait to see this artifact. And I have a surprise for you. I love surprises. Trust me, you'll love it. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait. Fantastic apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But let me see this wonderful artifact you found. You mentioned you had something for me. Indeed I did. And I'll get to it in a moment. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? Well, first I took a magnet, and then a chance cube. Fair enough. Your secrets are your own. I, however, will not be so guarded. I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time, and one glance at this one you've brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. I don't know. I can imagine quite a bit of power. Never such as this. This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Droman system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual, but I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself, and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narshada, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. I'll get started right away. It's not much to go on, but I will continue my work behind the scenes to get you more information. At first, I believe I mentioned a surprise earlier. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. For me? You are too kind. Yes, you've earned it. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifacts' locations. Good luck and good hunting. Aba barn habans, kalau bena ni in usakwai, usi terens api pao. Shall I instruct you? Ah. 
I sense you will go far. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Destination. Enjoy your stay. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. What are you, my personal entertainer? Do you perform tricks? Not as such, master. I would be willing to learn tricks if it pleases you, however. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury-class Imperial Interceptor. 
A versatile craft combining a starfighter's maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holoterminal. terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Stop selling me the ship and stay out of my way. I promise to limit all future conversation to essential information. Premature deactivation is not one of my directives. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Is that you, Apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. You mean like a rancor with a rash, or...? You have a vivid imagination, Apprentice. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. I'll just get some diving gear and go. If only it were that simple. I'm afraid the waste would kill even you, my apprentice. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. He will do whatever I say. Careful you don't alienate a potential ally. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hands will get in your way. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. I expect nothing less. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize.
There's something of great value in one of the hazard vaults. The one that was blown open. I heard you could help. Ah, who's this? Sith. We don't often get Sith on Balmora. It's a real pleasure. I have a son on Korriban, you know. It's a tough war you're walking into. We're fixing blasters with adhesive tape. But we'll help you any way we can. Now, oh, let's see. A blown open vault. Hmm. Uh, Captain, do we still have those pumps? Sir, if this is the vault I think it is, it won't be that easy. The fumes alone have put men in the medical center. Do we have anything else we can work with? We need some way to make this pit less deadly. Tell me, Captain, is there nothing that can survive the toxic waste? Well, nothing grows there, sir. But there are the colicoids. Colicoids? What do those bugs want with toxic waste? Food, sir. Our surveillance satellites have recorded them feeding on the toxic waste. We suspect they've been designed to eat it. So how do I become a colicoid? Sir? No, Captain, he's right. To get to the bottom of that pit, he'll need to become like the colicoids. There must be a way for you to take on the colicoids' resistance, so you can enter the vault. Captain, where were these creatures created? Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a research lab not far from here that was overrun with colicoids as soon as the Balmorans abandoned it. But the colicoids are vicious creatures. Just one of them tore apart a whole squad. You call yourself an army? I'm sorry, Sith. We don't have the numbers to deal with these things. But if you can get into that lab, we'll get you into that toxic pit. Sir, even if we find out what causes this resistance, we don't have the... We'll worry about that later. Right now, our Sith friend has to get into that lab and find out what the Balmorans did to those creatures.
Major, if we don't get those supply vehicles... My men are working on it, sir, but until that shipment of plasteel I requested three months ago comes in... I don't care! Tear it off the walls if you have to! It is not wise to keep a Sith waiting. Don't worry about the Colonel. He's loud and impatient, but we all are these days. What with a supply shortage. Now, did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilun and I have been doing our own research, but we haven't discovered much. There were bugs, bugs and more bugs. I hope the colicoids didn't give you too much trouble. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make head or tail of it. Hmm. This confirms our suspicions. The colicoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they were using could theoretically work. Well, that's it. That's our solution, right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. Um, sir, there's a problem. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic a few months back. We can't begin to replicate, let alone test the serum without him. I guess we need to undefect him. Undefect indeed. <laughs> you certainly have a way with words, Sith. The scientist's name is Yanis Tirek, and he's still on Balmora, in a Republic research base out near the Toxic Lakes. All right, Sith. It looks like you have your next objective. You find this scientist, you subdue him, my men will bring him back, and we'll get you your chance to swim in toxic waste. The Republic's going to taste blood tonight. Oh, and Sith, hurry back. I just got word that my son passed his trials on Coriban and is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to miss him. Displaying all authorized destinations. should have known Bessica wouldn't let me go without a fight. But sending a Sith seems a bit like overkill. Are you here to kill me, or are you going to torture me first? Thanks for reminding me. No! No, no, listen, listen! I won't be scared into returning. I risked my life to come here. 
Being an Imperial scientist, it's a fate worse than death. Watching as I make a necklace from your entrails is another. I won't go back to that place. You don't know what it's like. We're not expected to be men. We're machines, slaving day in and day out. No intellectual freedom, no creativity. I'm tired of building killing machines. I want to do some good for humanity. I can't go back there. We'll see how you feel after this. Damn Sith! You'll have to kill me. I'll never return to the Empire willingly. I know just when to stop. Sith, Major Bessica sent us in after you to collect the scientist. Just make sure he doesn't try to run. Of course. We'll see you back at Sobrik. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, congratulations, by the way. I heard that you found our scientist. We'll whip up that serum and get you into that toxic waste pit in no time. But there's a problem, and I need your help. I don't do this sort of thing. Look, you know I hold you in the highest respect, so I wouldn't ask if it wasn't truly important. It's my son. He arrived shortly after you left for the research facility, but then he went after some holocron, he called it. A few minutes ago... I got what I think was a distress call from him. He's in trouble. Sounds like a huge waste of my time. Look, I didn't want to have to do this, but it sounds like I have no choice. This is my son we're talking about, and if you want your serum, you'll save him. Have you forgotten who you're dealing with? I have pull in important circles, and my brother is a high-ranking Sith. You'll listen if you know what's good for you. All this time you've been running around, we've been fighting a war. I've been more than happy to help, but not at the expense of my son's life. It's your grave, Major. Save your idle threats. You won't get your serum without me. We narrowed the origin of the distress call to an abandoned building near the Republic Crater outpost. I'm guessing the Republic's captured him, which means a lot of fighting to free him. Good luck.
zich de mos in in PC met dan vroemest hoe zie de vrouw. man sent you for me, didn't he? He must have gotten my distress signal. I guess the old fool's still good for something. You're the Sith he's told me so much about, aren't you? What were you doing here? I wasn't visiting the old man, that's for sure. My master sent me here for a holocron the Republic dug up some place or other. I got the holocron, now all I have to do is get out of this place. What purpose does this object serve? It's not the holocron itself that's special. The Holocron's a map. It's supposed to point to a powerful weapon of the dark side that's hidden here on Balmora. The weapon's mine if I find it, which I will, now that you're here to free me. Thank you for telling me all about this lovely new toy. If you plan on taking that weapon, you're going to have to fight me first. Last, a worthy disciple. Be gone.
Stay back, Sith. I said stay back and don't lay a hand on me. I know what you did. We had an agent in that outpost, and he reported everything. I told you you wouldn't get your serum if you didn't help. And you killed him! You don't know who you're dealing with. You're nothing but a cold-blooded murderer! You enjoyed killing him, didn't you? Didn't you? To be honest, I've had better. I knew it! You're sick! Sick! Please, just tell me one thing. Why? Why did you have to kill him? We have hollow images of the cell. The controls were right there. You could have freed him. You would have gotten your serum. Why? I wanted to see what kind of pattern his blood would make. He didn't deserve this. He was a good boy. And I trusted you with his life. I grow tired of you. You evil, wretched, bloodthirsty... I'll kill you! I'll kill you! You'll never get your serum because I'll kill you! Sith. Calm down. I've got your serum right here. Now, maybe the Major deserved what he got. Who am I to say? But there's no reason to do anything rash. I don't need a reason to kill you. Look, I see where you're coming from. I do. You have big plans, and the Major got in your way. Fine. So please don't take it the wrong way when I tell you. This plan of yours is completely insane. The more insane the plan, the better. Look, go ahead, take the serum. Take it. I made it just like this data pad specified. You're probably on the right track. The serum should give you resistance to the stuff in the blown out vault. But there's also a good chance the serum will kill you. I mean, it was designed for colicoids, not humans. Just give me the serum. Now. All right, fine. Here you go. It's only a limited number of doses, and like I said, I'd use it sparingly if I were you. You'll have to fight past the main Republic base to get to the vault, but seriously, whatever the Republic throws at you, the colicoids will be worse. Thanks, Doctor. But you're no longer necessary. I see. So now you want to kill me. Go ahead. I told you before, I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> Playing all authorized destinations.
Kiki's Akran Baira Dance Jawan Jan Dance Impan Kudis Iswis us uf bendan ja atnam in puidang garja.
Sick. I mean, my lord. I mean, Major Irren here, sir. Will I never be rid of you fools? Uh, right. Well, I'll be quick then. Yes. Uh, as the new resources officer here on Balmora, I just wanted to apologize for the behavior of the late Major Bessica. His son's mission was not a military matter, and the Major had no right to demand your valuable time in that way. What do you expect to gain from your sniveling? My lord, I wasn't... I only... that is, I just hope you remember my role in helping you find what you were after. You got your promotion. I don't know what else you want from me. You'll always be welcome here on Balmora, sir. A Sith is welcome wherever he goes. Absolutely. No question of it. It's a pleasure to serve. Well, uh, good luck with... with whatever it is you're doing. I've found the artifact. Excellent. I trust Major Bessica was a good help. I've traced another artifact to Nar Shaddaa, but I'm still trying to locate the other two. I'll see what I can learn while you're on Nar Shaddaa. Now hurry. There can be no gain without haste.
Apprentice, you've reached Narshada safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. You believe I can use these people's hopelessness against them? Their need for answers should serve you well. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He leads a cult of idiots. They won't stop me. Of course not, but they still must be dealt with. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. I'm certain they will. I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. Aglau sai unsaf pama ubilin. Usatida sin fara alaim ja al in ima ja haben iten. At least I'm not a corpse. Jinasiwe ja alaize nam na dize. Ustaupaim ai si jai in alam is frumadain habans. Gamid ist franjan kupai nanan. Have you already forgotten about our honorable combat? Ni havashun isquis kai jukai wijans in haumanai. Ufar aleze rekajaja. medical attention.
Oh, Destris, dear brutish Destris, and Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me, my other children would like to play with you. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. Appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tagasa Chai's embarks prize war pairing swase ik bus karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? I'm not going to help you. You're going to help me. Of course that's what he meant, my lord. Yeah, sure, either way. So long as Palladius is made to swallow dirt. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies. But you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius's legs out from under him. I'll not waste my time. My lord, it's not a waste. The impoverished of Nar Shaddaa aren't powerful, but they are numerous. Palladius needs them. Get them the way Palladius did. Find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. He'll need to be a dragon if he hopes to stand against me. With all respect, taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. I think I'll stick with what I know best. Murder and mayhem. The direct approach. I like it. The crate's lair is in the Corellian sector. Crush their leader, and the masses will take notice. Select an available travel route.
My lord, I wanted I wanted to apologize for Dustris earlier. He was out of line. At least one of you knows her place. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You you radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. Do you find that power attractive? I don't know. It's terrifying. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destris for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. Be quick to bamba? That's not yours to know. I toto capolo kupi de opraji. Ruini e piboka. Nisupo go bae. Pompo gek dusta bada wanga? Chopting wampa. La hagua kilia jakoska. Paguta palko. I'll try not to disappoint. Kanto a shiniko higa da noila aka kiza spidata rupa. Your bana pihota, Mindia. Garnock, you defeated Palladius' right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the Great Dragon after how you did in Sabin. Look what I found outside. My lord, for getting Sabin off our backs and the crates off our streets, we humbly present you with this gift. I love getting gifts. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Kill one gang leader and already you got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius's most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait! I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius's speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. 
I can't wait to see the look on Palladius's face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duros sector, not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. pads are currently open for business. Kakimem Paninu, Am Kabina Bek Memnu Kingam. Kampu Jakinanu, Ki Nama Am Kabina Wam Wam Karak. Kikunamo, Uban Chone Alipa, Istin Koto. Raka Kem you Am Kam Nemnu, Namgan Bak Umnok Ki Jak. Lapo Ram Amka, Mamni Nikal, Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. I need to create a ground quake. Umnuk inu memnu, amka kam mem perolak palak. Memu apem guana, kumi a yang mem gamba paka. Bomo gala apayang, nelama ini amka amga. It's so much more fun for me when you refuse. 
Manalang yang perlu angka kalami na yakira lebua. Mem yuka hal hal krama nikno ka nalalu mem nulak. Do you still hope to win? Mami lebik bak manuk. Maraka naja ki nam ya bam yak. Mem mua pemguana. Kumi a yang mem gamba paka. A signaling device. You shouldn't have. Nor be amgin. Yam hangan kam kalam. Kam perim ganam. Bagi yang. Manik hikup bukam. Select an available travel route. There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! yeah! But I like the weak. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. 
Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent him to break it. He's the one who oppresses you, taking your money and giving nothing in return. Ah, the deceiver shows his face. Behold, my children, look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? power is this? The world is ending. Don't be fooled. It's a trick. Attack the deceiver. Attack. My lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. Worship me, or the next display of power will be your last. Of course, my lord. We are most unworthy. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. I want to wear robes of solid gold. You're just as crazy as Palladius! Shut your mouth before the Sith fries us! You heard the Sith. Pass the hat around, and don't be stingy. Huh. It's not really enough for a solid gold anything. But it's all we've got, at least until we find more followers. If I find out that even one of you kept a single credit for himself, you will all suffer. Yes, my lord. I'm sure no one would be so greedy as that. We'll go find more converts, rich ones. You'll get your robes, my lord. Promise. Will you look at this place? Dagon Strell himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd, and neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. Aren't you forgetting something? Yes, my lord. I'm sorry. I... M my lord. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. This is no place for cowards. Ah! Sith? Did you have to kill him? Members of this cult will fear me and me alone. Yes, my lord. Now what's this thing he brought? It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. 
Ah, Sif, good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? A call would have been sufficient. No, I like this better. More impact. The truth is, when you first attacked my cult, I was angry, frustrated. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. I'm not one of your meek little cultists. You lie, you pay. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hot. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Jandam jai hai hai e prao ja afleta farte ja fragich wahis. I'm not stupid enough to fall for that trick. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes. But this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. Selected available travel route. Sith! De Destron! Rachel! I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? 
And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. You know exactly what you can offer me. So confident. So amazingly confident. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated oh. me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow, sinking feeling? Your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little Denton here, or Ramona. For that, you will suffer. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I have faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Killing you will be such fun. <laughs> well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. You will run this cult to my exact specifications. Don't worry about it. You can count on us. I guess I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again. Yes, thank you, Sith. We'd still be hiding in that hole if it weren't for you. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. 
You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. Flesh of my flesh, listen to me. I cannot linger long. It takes too much out of me to appear here. But I must warn you. Your master, Darth Zash, is plotting something. Whatever it is can mean nothing good for you. I killed Scotia. I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not become arrogant. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Carl and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. I hope you killed them. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. Thank you for warning me. Zash has taught you, crafted you to be everything she needs you to be. Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor. My mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go. Claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I am most grateful. I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you again. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more.
Jus Jepe, Rekta Jepe. medical attention. Be well. The Sith were above petty burglary. I wonder what your master would think if she knew you were breaking and entering. Or did she, by chance, send you on this little errand? It's really not your business. It's my compound. It's my business. Your master and I hardly see eye to eye, but this isn't her style. Too much risk of getting caught, too little reward has all the marks of an apprentice. When Darth Thanaton learns of this, you will be punished. What if I told you that I believe Zash intends to betray me, and that I need your mask to defeat her? Already planning to kill your master? Hmm. Much as I'd like to see her dead, I don't think you'll be the one. I've killed more powerful Sith than her. I assume you're referring to Darth Skrtyr. Trickery. Of Zash's devising, no doubt. I don't think she'll be so forthcoming about her own weaknesses. But, just for my own amusement, let's see these skills of yours. Saran, Vasek, give Zash's apprentice a proper test. <laughs> Zash should be very proud and very afraid. The mask is just an old trinket. But if you really think it'll help you defeat her, take it. See? Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Arrogance does not win you any favors.
Greetings, Master. You're looking fit and deadly, as always. Apprentice, I know you are very busy, but I must speak with you. I have just had the most amazing dream, and it concerns you. You owe me an explanation. You sound unhappy, Apprentice. Have I done something to anger you? You've taken other apprentices. Apprentice, I'm sorry. The Dark Council required that I take more apprentices as a sort of punishment for my suspected involvement in Scotia's death. I should have told you myself, but believe me, these others are nothing compared to you. If they get in my way, I'll crush them. I would not let anyone get in your way. As I said, I just had the most marvelous dream, much like the one in which you pacified the apparition in the Dark Temple. Armies of Jedi rose in your path and fell before you. It's the artifact. It must be. The artifact will give you this power. What makes you say that? Only certain individuals, it seems, are properly attuned to the ritual the artifacts describe. I believe the remaining artifacts are on Tatooine and Alderaan. You must hurry and find them. The artifacts are the key to fulfilling your destiny. I see you've made it to Tatooine. Not the most luxurious destination, but trust me, the artifact is close. You'll need to find the pirate Andronicus Revel. He should be quite familiar with this piece. I've always wanted to meet a real pirate. Careful. Andronicus Revel's reputation, while never playful, is even less so now. He stole the artifact out of some Sith ruins, but when his crew mutinied, they took it. I sent a cruiser to recover the artifact, but all they found was Andronicus in an escape pod, half mad. We let him stew for a while in Imperial prison, and then released him. He's been hunting his crew down ever since, and we've been watching. Does this Andronicus know you're using him to get to the artifact? Does it matter? He gets what he wants, revenge, and you and I get what we want, the artifact. He's never lingered longer than it takes to kill, but Tatooine is different. It's been weeks. I believe Andronicos has found the leader of the mutiny, and with him, the artifact. Find Andronicos, and you'll find a clear course. Why not wait for him to make his move and capture him again? There's no guarantee he will take the artifact if he finds it, or that we will know he's made his move. Andronicos must have come through the spaceport at some point. Start with the shipmaster. Good luck, apprentice. And remember, every piece draws you closer to your full potential.
Have you heard of a pirate named Andronica Shravel? Wanta humpa, muri rava, fupa, jibampa wula. Patoga wata, kiko, uba, kiri wata, buki, donko. I don't like it when people lie to me. Kunta chuta, kaso yali kuli ra, kanki kung. Chobat i kafstuan, dile ji hulo kuta. That's hardly your call. Wo grani tampio da pushi wumpa, pu tula musta. Wumpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. Yinga yinga kijita, nimni tanu, alelo kwekuta. Amagas kapana, marpan. Ustaitnians an parana, rahitis ni aino. Papanu gasavans, lo anes, pose ustauhana. Don't tell me you consider yourself civilized. Gibai iswis aman hanguijins. Ja iswis iskud indem iswil imb. Paulos ja silbanas ja tain marpaus aiklas jon laune kai in kuda aitin. Humiliation and torment are two of my favorite things. Panzu aftra sweso man wiljin gangisans anabusin. My nama warpin painal ja an ifans iman lesis gab. Ponu in Saka we son from. Ipsik er by Kudana, Jaus er by Rojandan, in Bise Wistai. If I hear that name one more time, I'll have you put back into stasis. In Pamelhap Fralet Forte Fuima, Elizos Kaskaf Tais. Warpines Brigan Iswis Buidan. What are you moaning about now, monster? Thou pain I pain, Karahita Bawarp. In I aft one did a sick in far Marabali, Votos. Wire Baba, Frogens in Alama Patai Galakai, in Alama Amainai. I thought you hated Veshikirk. Siklaika, Redaika Ja, or Jufna Ja Katarhida. May in Andwar Pradji Ply. Ni Patai Ufaro Wisandan, Suare Kani Dede. I'm looking for a pirate named Andronicus Ravel. Trouble follows me wherever I go. Saya tupi nu avatikuna, chido nikti togi. Wajineko higa danoila oka kiza spida per popa. You won't insult me again. Ukle you got just kapa kurta. Please ka taka ya Oscar. 
Feliz Cachanaga Imache Choran Chique. This Andronicus fellow is sounding better and better. A pisca cu Paria Pitie Potenia go Coro we Niminaka Sonri Popa Unaguta. Wajineko, Higa da Noila, Oka Kiza Spida per Popa. Andronicus Ravel. I believe you have the artifact I'm looking for. Webb, folks aren't supposed to know I'm here. I'm sorry, Andronicus. It, it was that damn bartender. Take care of it. Now, Sith, your artifact. I don't have it, and I'm glad. Thing drove my crew insane. They mutinied. I floated ten days in a disabled escape pod and spent thirty more in Imperial lockup on account of that hunk of rock. I'm only interested in the artifact. And I couldn't care less about it. But maybe we could help each other out. The guy who has your artifact is the guy I'm on tattooing to kill. Silas Wilkes. My old first mate. He started the mutiny, then tossed me into space. Now he's an exchange big shot. He's got your Sith toy. Why haven't you killed this Wilkes yet? You don't have a reputation for mercy. I've been chasing Wilkes halfway across the galaxy. Stole my favorite blasters, not to mention my pride. Lucky thing I got a contact inside the Exchange. Only I can't exactly just stroll into the Exchange base. Ah, the big bad pirate is afraid of a few little Exchange thugs. Funny, Sith. But some of us can't shoot lightning from our fingertips. Contact's name is Casey Ricks, old friend who used to be part of my crew. But she, uh, doesn't exactly know I'm here. She's sure to know where Wilkes is hiding. Tell her you know me, and she'll tell you everything. I don't care if she is a friend of yours. If she doesn't give me what I want. Don't worry about it. Casey's good people. You get that information, you can do what you want with it. But I'd appreciate it if you came back here first. Me and Wilkes are long overdue for a talk. Casey Ricks. Andronicus sent me. He said you know where to find Silas Wilkes. Andronicus? You mean he's out of prison? He doing all right? And he's after Wilkes, figures. Andronicus doesn't really forgive or forget. Hey, you're not planning to harm him, are you? Tell me where Wilkes is, or I will kill him. Oh, come on, please. 
Not really. I'll tell you where to find that son of a hut. In fact, I'll make sure he's there so you can kill him. Wilkes's base is hidden out of Ether's view. Andronicos will know what I mean. Can't you give me something a little clearer? I can't have everyone on Tatooine knowing where the base is. Let me call Wilkes. Make sure he stays put. It'd be a shame for you to storm HQ while he's out. Don't do anything you'll regret. Like Warren Wilkes? We both know that'd be suicide. Casey, sweetheart, got something to report? Andronicus hasn't turned up, has he? Oh, sigh. What do I have to do to make you stop worrying about Andronicus? Well, I could think of a few things. Have you reconsidered my offer? That's why I called. Are you free in, say, a couple of hours? We could talk about it. In person. I always have time for you. I'll be right here, sweetheart, whenever you're ready. Ugh, I hate that guy. Andronicos never went for that eyelash batting junk, but Wilkes is there. So hurry up and kill him. You... I mean... You aren't really... No! I've been able to string him along so far without it. But I won't shed any tears when he's gone, to say the least. Tell Reg I can't have any more slip-ups. Wilkes finds out I'm here, it'll be like Ruson all over again. Y yes Andronicus, I I whatever you say. Go. About time, Sith. This room's feeling a lot like that escape pod. Make me happy. Tell me you found Wilkes. Casey said Wilkes was out of Ether's view. Out of Ether's view, huh? Spineless son of a hut is hiding underground. Wilkes is a dead man. There's a system of caves on the other side of the abandoned farm settlement. I wager that's what Casey meant. The sooner I get this done, the better. Just hold on one moment. I'm going with you. You've outlived your usefulness. Huh. Well, it so happens Casey's looking out for me. She encrypted the entry code to Wilkes' base on this data pad. You don't know how to decrypt it, but I do. I've chased him too far to let someone else kill him. Just don't touch my artifact. The artifact's yours. It's brought me enough bad luck already. I'm gonna blast Wilkes for every day I spent floating in that escape pod. And then, I'm gonna stomp on his bones. I've had enough of your complaining, monster. I'm sorry, Ken. We just weren't meant to be. Mat in ja, iman kudana, ja ayun pro kumana.
Do it. I have too much overhead to close shop now. Wilkes to pieces just as soon as we find him. Well, well, Andronicus Revel. I'm surprised they let you out of Imperial Prison. And you brought a Sith to help you. How cute. But see these guys? They'll crush you and your Sith. I'm not cute. I'm deadly. Let me guess. You're here for the artifact, the one the Empire was so keen on getting just before I crushed Andronicus. Would you believe he called me a nobody? A worthless, mangy, skinny little nobody? So I took his ship, 
his crew, his cargo, his blasters, and what else? Oh, his girl. Who's nobody now, Nikki? I'm gonna rip out your throat and laugh while you try to scream. All of this chatter is making me bloodthirsty. You'll never beat me, and you'll never get your artifact. Boys, kill the Sith, but keep Andronicus alive. I'll want to play with him a little longer. You'll never get it now. Not the artifact, not the blasters, nothing. Give me the artifact now. You're so stupid. The great Andronicus Revel chases me across five planets only to fail. He even gets a Sith on his side, and they both fail. Talk sense. The artifact. It's cursed. It's cursed. Yeah, I figured that one out. They... they took it. Just like I took it from you. Took it all. The blasters, the artifact, the money. Tell us where they took it. Chase them if you like. They went out into the deep desert. They left weeks ago. The sand people will eat you before you ever catch them. I've heard enough. Now give me one good reason not to blast your teeth through the back of your skull. I have no more use for this one. What did you do that for? That was supposed to be my revenge. There was no longer any reason to keep him alive. You knew I wanted to be the one to kill him. You were... You're... Uh, never mind. Let's just go. Idiot. Lost your artifact and my special made blasters. Just wait until I get my blaster pointed at those thieves. They'll face much worse from me. You take your creepy powers, and I'll take my blaster, and we'll see who kills the most. Huh. Come on, the sooner we get out there, the better chance we have of showing them thieves what's what.
This data pad says the thieves went this way. It can't be much further.
stay sharp, Sith. The thieves ran right into the beast's mouth. The Sand People camps. Idiotic, nerve-hurting sons of huts. They got away. Snap out of it. Ah! <sighs> Next time, just slap me in the face, okay? Damn crazy Sith. I tend to get carried away. Sure you do. I know how you Sith work. A Sith torturer with a collection of prisoners' fingernails gets zapped because Darth so-and-so doesn't like how he looks. Sickest monsters in the galaxy, the Sith. Not all Sith are that way. It didn't bother you to torture Wilkes when he was already half-dead and raving mad. Look, I like you well enough. I mean, I wouldn't call us friends, but I think we can work together. Let's just forget I said anything, huh? You won't get off that easily. Then I'll be sure to watch my back. Now are we gonna get off this rock or what? You shouldn't presume, pirate. Look, I gather you don't think much of me, but that don't make me useless. I'm a damn good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. I'm in charge, and don't you forget it. I'll take that as a yes then. But I'd lost you there. Lost you there. So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you were heading for the desert, well, I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. I brought Andronicus back. <laughs> you should stick with this one, Andronicus. You might learn a sense of humor. Look at I have a sense of humor. Relax, it was a joke. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. Don't go expecting any more favors. I don't plan on needing any. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff, somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Now let's get off this rock, huh?
Apprentice, you have recovered the artifact, I take it. Wonderful. Ah, Andronikos, what a pleasure to see you again. Hello yourself. Looks like you finally found your rock. Yes, thank you for leading us to it so obligingly. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful asset to my apprentice's crew. Now, apprentice, you must hurry and recover the remaining artifact. I'm giddy with anticipation. I look forward to seeing you in your glory. So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always a sicko, or did you just kind of fall into it like I did? Power is wasted if you don't use it, and I'm not squeamish. We're gonna have a lot of fun together, huh? I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. <laughs> so I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. I don't for one moment believe you were an accountant. Well, how's this for accounting? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer. But I'm good. Most marvelous apprentice. It's good to see you've made it safely to Alderaan. It really is a wonderful world. So rich in history. It's a shame you won't have time to visit the libraries. I've never understood your fascination with reading. To each his own, I suppose. Alderaan is a planet in the throes of civil strife. A usurper sits on the throne and all of Alderaan's nobles make war. Your artifact was discovered by the Jedi Order years ago and given to one of Alderaan's noble houses. I don't know which one. Any idea where I should start? House Thule is allied with the Empire. Their young leader, Alana Thule, is eager to help you. Go to House Thule and speak with her. Hopefully, with her aid, you can reclaim the missing artifact.
The dark side swells within you. I sense okay. you will go far. Okay. My lady, this must be the Sith we've been expecting. I can feel his power. Welcome, Sith. I'm sorry for the chaos. Alderaan is on the brink of civil war, but House Thul owes the Empire so much. What did the Empire do for you? Before I was born, House Thul was accused of conspiring to steal the throne. We were disgraced and driven off Alderaan. The Empire gave us a home in exile and helped restore us to our rightful place on Alderaan. But our history can hardly be of interest to you. Darth Zash mentioned you're after a certain artifact. Am I correct? You're going to help me find it. Am I correct? I hope as much. Allow me to introduce Ertl Morin. He's my personal Sith guard. He did some preliminary investigation after Darth Zash called. It is an honor. I've heard many things about Lord Zash's apprentice. I began my research on a hunch house Organa close to ties with the Jedi. We captured and chatted with a Chamberlain of House Organa. He confirmed that Organa holds the artifact and that it is kept in their private vault in the Elysium. How dare you torture someone without me? Apologies. I will be sure to bring you in on the fun next time. Unfortunately, the Elysium is sealed tight and the key is held by Nomar Organa, a powerful, revered and insufferable Jedi Master. You are the only Sith on Alderaan who even stands a chance of defeating Nomar. We must bring him here. Nomar Organa has a reputation for strength and power, but above all, for his principles. He is, by all accounts, the perfect Jedi, but everyone has weaknesses. Isn't that right? Everyone has weaknesses, but especially Jedi. I suggest you start in the library of House Alder. They are devoted keepers of Alderaan's history. Personal connections, I think, would be most useful. Siblings he was particularly close to, childhood friends. But be careful. House Alde is a close ally of Organa. They're likely to attack anyone from Thule on sight. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sith. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
I thank you all for gathering here. Friends, family, everyone. As you know, this is the day that Rahana and I were to announce our intentions to be married. No more. What are you saying? I'm sorry, Rahana. But I've had... I mean, there's been... There's been a change. You coward! I have a responsibility to the Jedi Order. I have decided to continue with my training in the Force. Off-world. It's your family, isn't it? They talked you out of this. Damn, Organas think you're too good for us, for my daughter. You'd better be sorry. You will be sorry. Okay. Keep me apprised of the situation, Ertl. We may need to take action. Ah, Sith. Sorry to keep you waiting. I hope your search in House Alde was fruitful. 
I've been anxiously dreaming up scandals we could catch the spotless Nomar Organa in. This should allow us to sink our hooks into him. Let me see. Engagement announcement Nomar and Rihanna. My goodness, this is juicy. It must have been somewhere between 20, 30 years ago. Long before I was born, but I remember hearing my nurses talking about it. The sister to the Lord of House Wrist was engaged to a prominent noble against the wishes of both their families. The coward broke it off. And here I thought Jedi were supposed to keep their promises. I don't know about that. But the timing of this hollow recording is right, as is the name, Rahana. Wrist is a house of highly trained assassins, and Lady Wrist is no exception. But she is perhaps most noted for her stubborn refusal to marry, and for the humiliations she pours on those who ask. She sounds like loads of fun. And more importantly, like she's still in love with Nomar Organa. And if she is still in love with Nomar, then you may be able to convince her to lure Nomar to Alderaan. Assassin or Jedi, they will both obey. But be wary. To reach Rohana Rist, you'll have to contend with the deadliest assassins on Alderaan. Good luck, Sith. I hope your search is going well, my lord. Is my third request that's been ignored. You left the entire Maybe you'd like it if it pulled out altogether. See how House Thule fares on its own. Let me worry about the men, my lord. Go back to the dining hall, where you belong. Welcome. Please select an available travel route.
Congratulations, Sith. You've broken into my home, butchered my assassins, and forced your way into my personal chambers. Can I at least offer you a drink before you start making demands? A drink would be nice. Excellent. People have so little time for hospitality these days. So tell me, what does the bright-eyed young daughter of Thule want from Rihanna Rist? I believe this has your name on it. Well, well. Let me guess. You dug this holo out of some dusty archive in House Alder. Let's just say that his royal Jedi-ness no more Organa and I are ancient history and leave that dead dog buried. There must have been some good times. I don't know what you expect me to say. No more Organa and I were in love. I'm sure he'd write it off as misguided youthfulness. But it's true. We were going to get married, in spite of our family's disapproval. And then he got cold feet. That's all. He seemed really hurt when you stormed out. Hurt? No. Righteous, maybe. Full of himself. Have you asked? He made his position quite clear, I think. No. Why should I even torture myself with a thought? Call. Ask him to meet you. And if he agrees... And if he agrees? No. I can't believe I'm even entertaining this ludicrous notion. Still, it would be nice to see him again. But what would I say? What would I do? You'll know what to say. Fine. I'll, I'll call him, and I'll ask him to meet me here. But I'm going with you for my own safety. I don't quite trust you. Then get on with it, will you? Let me bring him up. Rohana, wh what a surprise. I know, I it must be. Nomar, there's something I need to talk to you about. Go ahead. Anything I can do. Anything at all. Not... not like this. It's a favor I need, here on Alderaan. I was hoping we could meet. Of course. I can be there in a few hours. The old place? Yes. The old place. Thank you. Do you really think he'll come? I'm just going to kill him. What? No. You... you vile, cruel person. I won't let you. You won't lay a hand on him. <laughs> Pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
not your time yet. you there. Clever trick, Sith. Getting Rahana to call me down here like it was some sort of emergency. But frankly, I'm insulted. Where's Rahana? You've gone to no effort to disguise your trap. She had outlasted her usefulness. By your measure, yes. But you trade in selfishness and murder equally. I cannot permit that vile artifact to fall into Sith hands. Unlike you, I am a person of principle. Your principles don't include keeping promises. I don't know what you mean by that, and I don't frankly care. The light will prevail, Sith, even against darkness as black as yours. So sorry to interrupt. I hope your meeting with Lady Wrist went well. I was able to persuade her to my way of seeing things. You'll have your artifact soon, then. I'm glad to hear it. Like I said, I'm very sorry to trouble you, but we have a problem on our hands, and you may be the only one who can solve it. If I had 50 credits for every time someone said that... I have intelligence that Organa is preparing a reprisal for your raid on House Alder. According to our spy, Organa has assembled a contingent of Jedi to attack House Thul. I sent Ertl and his Sith to investigate, but they haven't returned. You should have asked me first. I didn't want to impose. I had no idea Organa's Jedi was so powerful. 
Please, all I ask is that you locate and take out Organa's Jedi contingent within House Organa before they have a chance to strike. And if you could find out what happened to Ertl and the other Sith, I would appreciate that as well. But the Jedi are first priority. I have better things to do. How could you? You... I assure you, Sith, once this is over, House Thule will be renegotiating its relationship with the Empire. I hope you find what you seek, Sith, and I hope it's worth it.
Okay. Colonel Nizers, a word with you if I may. I'm a very busy Sith. Don't waste my time. A short while ago, Imperial Command received word that Lady Elana Thule asked you to raid House Organa, and you did not do so. Is this correct, or have I been misinformed? Lady Thule thought she could order me around like a servant. It always amazes me that you, Sith, can be so powerful and have absolutely no grasp of politics. Your inaction has directly resulted in the death of Lady Alana Thule and several other prominent members of her house. And thanks to Lady Alana's untimely demise, the Empire's plans on Alderaan have been seriously endangered. But no sense crying over it, right? You would do well to remember that the Sith cannot stand if the Empire falls. And when the time comes to report to the Grand Moff why the Republic was able to control Alderaan, I will not take the blame for Sith recklessness. Maybe I should kill you, so that you don't make your report. I would not advise it. Good day, Sith.
apprentice. You have a lot of nerve even coming back to this ship. Answer me this. Are you insane or just incredibly stupid? How could you not help Lady Alana Thor? The Sith bows to no one. You are lucky I am not present in the flesh, apprentice. Or you would bow to me. I'm sorry. Emotion should be channeled into real power, not wasted on senseless rages. You did well to secure the artifact, Apprentice, but there are gaps in your education. I don't need any lessons from you. If I were you, I would watch my tongue. Your growth has been phenomenal, but with great power comes much unwanted attention. I will not always be around to protect you from your critics, Apprentice, and they will not all meet you face to face. Is there something you're not telling me? No. It is only the way of the Sith. No one lives long. Now that you've found the last of the artifacts, I hope to see you on Drummond Cars as soon as possible. We still have much work to do. Looking for Sash? Well, she's not here. Allow me to introduce myself. Darth Thanaton. Don't worry. I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. Your rise from the slave pens has been non-traditional to say the least. I'm never going to hear the end of that, am I? No, you won't. Not until you convince your naysayers of your worth. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. That seems to be everyone's favorite subject these days. Really? I'd love to hear what everyone has to say. Darth Zash is arrogant and reckless. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate himself too closely with a master like Zash. That's all right. I'm going to kill her anyway. I will pretend I didn't hear that. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The cult you won on Nar Shaddaa was a good first step. But it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shape the Sith. I feel it. Now, I have another gift for you. One that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber, until now, lost to me, but through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Escalus, the only servant who didn't betray me when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Nar Shaddaa, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Escalus. Go to her, and claim your inheritance.
I'd lost you there. Pads are currently open for business. Mila Escalus, aren't you? I believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me. I knew this would happen. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Please, don't kill me. I'll get the lightsaber back, I promise. You don't have the lightsaber? It's not my fault. It's my father's. Dad was never very smart. But a couple of years ago, he topped himself. Put everything we had, lightsaber included, on the sabak table against a sleazebag named Gil Rosen, a known cheater. Lost it all. You will wish your father had walked away from that table. I warned him. But Mill, he says, you gotta stop believing in myths. Now he's dead, and I'm paying off his debts. All of them. I get the lightsaber back, but Rosen has it, and he's holed up in the industrial area. It's too dangerous, and I, I can't exactly afford help. Your cowardice sickens me. <laughs> Look, you want to go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and please don't kill me. Only an Aeschylus can open the lightsaber case. It's some kind of genetic lock, so if you get it, bring it here.
shouldn't have come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus whelp. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. How about you give me the lightsaber, and I let you live? Look, I'm standing here with Nar Shaddaa's toughest mercenaries. Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. That's what I'm thinking. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. I don't think so. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Uh, sir, you, you do realize... No complaints. I don't pay you to complain. Kill him. Kill him! What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. You don't get off that easy. No! I don't want to die! <laughs> <laughs> Lost you there. Hey, look, lay off the lightning this time, okay? It's so much fun. I, I can't take much more of this. Just give me the case already. There. There's your lightsaber. Now go, please. Here's something to remember me by. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
all products, only as intended. Not your time yet. Be well. Apprentice, you have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Cass immediately. I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise, cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. I knew it was too good to last. Yes. Her words smell of honey and taste of poison. Zash praises your great strength, yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force, if she has no intention of fighting you? So, what now? Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone. But bring an ally who can break through her defenses. Zash won't know what hit her. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared. You've arrived on Draman Kars. Marvelous. Let's get right to work. Secrecy is vital, so I've secured us a nice, out-of-the-way spot for the ritual. Meet me in the innermost chamber of the Dark Temple, where you pacify the apparition, and we can begin. If you make one move against me, I'll strike. My dear apprentice, from the very beginning, everything I have done, I've done for you. But there is one thing. Given the sensitive nature of this ritual, I would ask that you not bring your pirate companion. Your Deshard is fine, desirable even, given the sensitive nature of your bond to him. As long as I can bring my lightsaber. I don't see why not, though I can't imagine you'll have to use it. Now hurry and meet me in the Dark Temple. The sooner you arrive, the sooner we can begin.
Your money's always good here. again. What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone. I'm truly honored to serve such a personage as you, Master. History will remember your name. Not mine, but definitely yours.
ready for departure. require medical attention. Be well. Be well.
By then. Mason Bummer. Such marvelous power radiates from you now. Clear, strong, you have truly come into your own. I've arranged for you to receive the title of Lord of the Sith. I hope you realize what an honor and responsibility it is. As a Darth, I answer only to Darth Anaton, who answers to the Dark Council. As a Lord, you're only one step below that, and you tower above many. The power is mine. Do not get ahead of yourself, Apprentice. There is still the ritual to undergo. And I'll warn you, the ritual may prove a trying experience. But once it's done, you will be truly great. Truly powerful. If by powerful you mean dead. Apprentice, where did you get an idea like that? When have I ever tried to do you harm? The truth is... I have not been completely honest with you. I wish I could have been, but the timing was not right. Look at me, Apprentice. I am sorry to have concealed it from you for so long, but it was such a pleasant vanity to share in your youth. You make Rodians look kissable. Listen, Apprentice. Various force rituals have helped me maintain my appearance and some of my vitality. But inevitably, life fades. I'm dying, Apprentice. My will, my intellect, my spirit are as lively as ever. But this body is dying. Too bad you can't just order a new one. But Apprentice, that's exactly what I've done. Be prepared. As the ritual ends, you will likely see me collapse before you feel it taking effect. Do not panic. Know that this is what I have trained you for, primed you for, from the start. This doesn't sound promising. Don't worry. I imagine it will be just like falling asleep. <sighs> we will accomplish so much once I am in command of that wonderful vessel of yours. Just hold still. You can't stop this ritual from happening. Apprentice! What have you done to me? 
why couldn't you just hold still for a few moments longer? Why couldn't you pull the monster off? I need to learn that ritual. That monster broke through my defenses, interrupted my concentration, diverted the entire ritual. Five years of preparation, finding the right person, training them, researching the artifacts, gathering them, wasted! You were my legacy, my one chance to defeat death! You fool! You have ruined everything! You shouldn't have opposed me. You think you're clever? Well, this beast's body is quite powerful. Powerful enough to punish you for your rebellion! The Deshard is bound to me, and now so are you. That bond! That damn bond! How can your will be stronger than my own? I am the master, not you! This is what we call a classic reversal of fortune. Pataya gila senaim, anapidupi pi pukdu gas fantan. Swaiwai silbans in iswish, paman ik alkas jam, guidis in tis iswares. Wait, you've changed again. Was jabe wise jabe, prophetis, we sons jagara haitang. Unswekon pose warp, warp by nupai insards jains ones jan. Mat insop ja, iman kudana, ja ayun pro kumana. It seems Zash went into your body, but you didn't leave. Munzgasai. Protest all you like, Ken Vol, servant of Tulak Horde, but your ancient master's artifact has been turned against you. And through some strange and miraculous trick, neither you nor Zash have full control. Where were you when everything went sideways a few minutes ago? I have been watching from the shadows all along, powerless to help. But it's clear my help was not necessary. Flesh of my flesh, you have defeated your master. The great danger that I feared is past. Your rise to glory complete. I don't know whether we will chance to meet again on this side of death, but I am at peace. I came to say goodbye, and good luck. I guess not everything Zash dreams is a lie, then. You are Lord Kallik now. It was once a glorious name. Use it well. I'm telling you, Corrin, Zash is not all there. All this talk about dreams, it's nonsense. No, Carl. I saw Zash enter, and we both saw her first apprentice go in later. If I went around expecting everything I dreamt to come true, I... Look, Carl. Darth Zash. You... You murdered her! I'll finish you off just as easily. Hold your weapon, Carl. This is not what Zash wanted. My lord, we have not met, but Carl and I are Zash's newest apprentices. She honored us by telling us about a prophecy, a dream she had, one that has now been fulfilled by you. I really am the best. Darth Zash dreamt that her strongest apprentice would eventually rise to destroy her, but she also foresaw that the same apprentice would rise to bring new glory and strength to a fragmented Sith Order. She went knowingly to her death at your hand, so that you could lead the Sith to glory. Believe me, Zash only thought of herself. How strange. Darth Zash only ever had words of praise for you. We have been anticipating this day since Zash first leaked the rumors of your incredible triumph over Darth Scotia. Zash answered to Darth Thanaton on the Dark Council. He'll want to speak to you, but we are your servants. Kev, will you do the honors? Afgudan heifst, but I guibanist, ni fragiles fraujan, kupainana.
Darth Thanaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you will be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andrew, outside Kar City. This doesn't sound promising. Forgive me. I lack Zash's natural charm. Trust me when I say, I look forward to meeting you. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pirate friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Broman Cast when he killed Scotia, and he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful. Destination? Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for his superiors is the mark of a good Sith. 
Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. It's wise to respect your superiors, at least until you're powerful enough to kill them. Wise answer. You are not like your master. Tradition, principles, history, the threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. I didn't want to kill her. It was self-defense. Nonsense. Every apprentice wants to kill their master. It's not a fault. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You've demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. I know the Sith Code. Is there something else I'm supposed to know? The Sith Code is only the start. You must study the history of the Sith. Make it your own. Now, I wish to see how you work. This tomb belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure. Toothed vipers always slithering, slithering up the walls, along the floors. Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. I just want the writings. Never satisfied are you, my apprentice. The poison's still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your sister both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. I'm sorry your offspring murdered you, but strangling all children may not be the solution. Solution? Death is the only solution for vipers like you. those he despises to death. You follow him blindly when you should plan to defeat him. Did you have a scheme in mind? Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. What do you want me to do? In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. 
A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Dashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him near the Dark Temple. Seek this knowledge. I hope this knowledge does what you say. Good luck, flesh of my flesh. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. You must augment your power before you face Thanatop. I will not have the strength to defend you again. Please use all products only as intended. Be well.
of Urgust, Lord of the Sith, keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? Teach me the ritual that allows me to devour the dead. There is no such ritual. The dead cannot be consumed. But ghosts may be bound and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. Sounds easy. Where do I start? Easy, it is not. Know to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of force walking. But if you are willing, drink from the cup before me. It is poison, but it will not kill you. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. Now that you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, you draw less of its power. A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly, sealed with blood. Or the ritual and binding may be performed. You're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. There has to be more to this than a little dreaming. A very quick learner, indeed. You might just make it out of here alive. This is the test. Bind me, and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail, and I kill you. And don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. You have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. I am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes.
does it look like I'm doing? Yes, I recognize it now. The ritual of force walking. I'd heard of it, but I didn't believe it existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold, and I won't be your slave. Then I guess I'll force you to come with me. You treacherous! against Phanaton's wrath. Take this one's writings and show Phanaton what a good apprentice you've been. The dark side swells within you. I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. When Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed, tradition demanded she be killed and her power base destroyed. Believe me when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb. It will pain me to watch you die. Spare me the false tears. I'm ready to fight you. You are entitled to defend yourself. In fact, I'd expect nothing less. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill him. You truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Ah, you've come prepared. By now, I should have expected it of you. Unfortunately for you, I am older and wiser and studied in rituals you can't even imagine.
I have business on Malachor Three. Prepare my ship and see that this one gets a respectful cremation. Yes, my lord. My lord, you're awake. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. What happened to me? Thanaton tried to kill you. Look, I'll explain when we get back to the ship. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. My lord, you're back. <laughs> Thought you were gone. Yeah, I could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. We followed Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first, but then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. That explains why I'm still alive. Where's Thanaton? You sure you're ready to face him? He did a real number on you. Your survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. 
It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. I'll find the most powerful dead in the galaxy, bind them and take their power. Thanaton won't stand a chance. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. We don't seem to have any choice. Exactly. Better to do something than sit here and wait to be killed. So where do we find more ghosts? The Jedi on Taras were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. I am most grateful. I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too. And we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord. Has your research turned up anything else on this Tyrus ghost? Ni pate ufaro wi sandan suare kanidede akjas waluda is. Figures the old lady isn't around when we need her. Gine na kangan gisat. She's more useful to me than you are. Let me speak with her. Ni kademos in in pisi me ban frumest hosi da fram. If you won't let me speak with her, I guess I'll just have to force her out. Thank you. That was just the opening I needed. You have no idea how disconcerting it is to be pushed to the recesses of your own consciousness. But you didn't call me here because you missed my company. What is it you need? Have you managed to find any more information about the Taris ghost? Ah, yes. I did manage to sneak in a little extra fact-finding before I uh, lost my bearings. It seems the ghost you're after was once a Sith from Darth Malak's invasion force that destroyed Taras a few hundred years ago. The ghost was one of the Sith left to die during the final bombardment, for some spiteful reason or another. We're all trigger happy sometimes. I don't know how we expect to wipe the Jedi from the galaxy when we keep killing ourselves. With luck, they'll be so shocked they won't know what to make of us. Elios Malus at the Imperial base will be able to tell you more. If he forgets his manners, remind him you're my successor. Seeing you return to this ship always warms my circuits, Master. It reminds me I...
Elias Malice. You were sent here to investigate a ghost. What did you discover? I am a busy man. I don't have time for... Oh, my lord, I... I forgive me. I didn't recognize you in your new wardrobe. So grand. This is a pleasant surprise. I had heard the most unfortunate rumors. Be careful you don't make that mistake again. Ah, yes, of course, my lord. You are most gracious. Now, you are asking about the ghost, yes? Uh, let me see. I assure you I've been hard at work assessing the situation. It's just the Jedi have been guarding the old Jedi enclave very tightly. That's, um, that's where the ghost first appeared, you see. Let's hope the Guardians of the Light prove open to negotiation. Dealing with the Jedi may be simple compared to seeing the ghost. The ghost appears only sporadically. Not even the Jedi who guard the Enclave can make it appear. They've resorted to using a young Padawan to try and draw the ghost out through blood ties or something. Foolishness, if you ask me, but I'm a man of meager understanding. It seems the Jedi have a weak link. The Jedi guard her closely, but I think you may be on to something. Many a Sith is formed from a weak Padawan's impressionable mind. I can't imagine an impressionable young Padawan being able to resist your particular charms, and it would save you the trouble of fighting a small army of Jedi. I cannot twist her until I understand what tempts her. You might visit the Jedi training grounds by the waterfall. It's abandoned now, dangerous. The data recorders there may hold certain insights into her personality. In the meantime, I will endeavor to learn what I can of her Jedi masters. Do it. You know what? You want to move a rock? Get a quarry droid. Calm down, Ashara. There is no emotion. There is peace. Try it again. I tried. I tried already. I can't do it. Trust in the Force, and even the oldest and sturdiest of walls may be pulled down. Forget this. If there really are Sith on Terrace, we should be fighting them, not sitting here daydreaming. Patience, Ashara. One must empty oneself of emotion and find the peace with which to act in the Force. Now, try again.
The Jedi Code states, there is no passion, there is serenity. Can anyone explain what this means? Ashara. It means the Jedi must be prepared to think calmly, even in intense situations. Passion is a tool of the dark side. There is no emotion, there is peace. It also means Jedi should temper their intuition with wisdom. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Very good, Ashara. So you see, this line of the code ties earlier elements of the code together. Shara, relent. That's an order. But I was winning. You must learn restraint. Varric is clearly not your equal. There was no reason to press the attack. We're training for war. The Sith won't surrender. We have to drive them back with everything we've got. These are not Sith. They are fellow Padawans. You show great potential, Ashara. But you must temper your fervor for the light with patience. and Cassius will be in the assault group. The rest of you will be support. Any questions? Then take your positions. Master Ryan, I think you put me in the wrong group. You are in the support group, Ashara. You will provide backup to the assault team. That's what I mean. 
I should be on the assault team. Varric can barely hold a lightsaber. Learning to support your fellow Jedi is an important skill. Varric lacks your confidence, and so requires your compassion and encouragement. But Master Ryan... Enough, Ashara. You have received your instructions. Join the others if you wish to complete your trial. I found the databanks. Our Padawan has a bit of a pride problem. She is a less than perfect Jedi candidate. Most excellent. In my experience, pride and insecurity go hand in hand. My lord, you went searching for crumbs and discovered a feast. She is easily frustrated by difficult things. I think she could be made to doubt her place among the Jedi. Hmm. Yes, it would be delicate business. But if I may proffer my most humble opinion, it's a brilliant idea. Make her feel threatened, alone and frightened, and then offer yourself as her sole protector in this harsh, cruel galaxy. Of course, you'll still need a way to flush her out of hiding and make the threat seem credible. Do you have any men you could send to attack her? I could fight them off and win her affection. Zash sent me alone, I'm afraid, but that's an excellent thought. Rumor has it Lord Anathemos of the Assassin's Pyramid is here in search of a particular holocron. Now what I'm thinking is, and it may be crazy, you can use that holocron to reach an agreement with Lord Anathemos for the use of his assassins. I must say, I'm very impressed. I try only to please, my lord. First, you must recover the holocron and make your deal with Lord Anathemos. The abandoned outpost is in a nearby region. I'll transfer the location, but be warned, it's swarming with rat ghouls and other monstrosities.
I found the Holocron. Excellent, my lord. Lord Anathemos can be found at the Empire's current outpost in that region. I suggest you speak with him right away. And I'm pleased to say that I've found the perfect place for you to lure your Padawan to. An area of swamp near enough to Republic territory that you'll feel secure, yet remote enough that you'll be truly at your mercy. I am most grateful. Have Lord Anathemos' assassins drive the girl to this spot, and then secure yourself a hollow communicator from a nearby Republic soldier. Once the trap is sprung, you can call on a Republic frequency and offer help. Good luck. Lord Anathemus, I understand you were looking for this holocron. That holocron? Where did you get it? Give it to me. No, wait. This must be a trap. I'm not fooled. Just let me use your assassins. My assassins? You must think I value that holocron pretty highly. I wonder, what do you need them for? I'm laying a trap for a Padawan. Simple enough. My assassins will be glad to... Wait. Why would a powerful Sith Lord like yourself hire assassins to kill a mere Padawan? Do you think I'm an idiot? I will not be taken for an idiot. The Padawan must believe she is in danger so I can save her. Playing games with my Sawi? Fine. Though I'm sure I will live to regret it. The assassins are yours. Just tell me where they should wait and who they should target. She'll be near the Republic base, but you can catch her when she's training. This better be good. I see. So my assassins flush this Padawan out, and then you play the hero. You'll be using some manner of mind trick, I trust. So be it. Now, give me the holocron. My lord, we've ambushed the target and are driving her toward the location you specified.
Ashara Zavros. I heard about the ambush. Meet me in the swamps near your position. I can protect you. What? Who are you? How do I know this isn't another trap? If I wanted you dead, I'd just wait for the assassins to catch you and kill you. Maybe I should be worried about who it is that wants me alive so badly. All right, I'll come that way. But if this is a trap, don't think I'll go down without a fight. I should have known this was some kind of trap. You don't really intend to protect me against your own people. They took me out of slavery and forced me into this. It wasn't my choice. I... I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't know the Sith did that. I guess I thought... I don't know what I thought. With all respect, my lord, we have orders to see this girl dead. Please don't make a fuss. Don't make a fuss. You're asking too much, I'm afraid. Wait, my lord. You're not seriously going to... I thought... This is treachery! Lord Anathemos will hear of it! You heard him. We're not going down without a fight. I relent. Lord, Jedi, don't kill me. Of course. The Jedi way is mercy. He will gather more men and keep hunting you. His master will kill him if he fails. Master Ryan says mercy has risk. It wouldn't be mercy otherwise. You know this one would not show you mercy. But go ahead. Be the good Padawan. Obey your masters. Shut up. Shut up! Why do you care whether he lives or dies? He's just another worthless Sith. He doesn't deserve his life. No, 
He doesn't. But the same could be said of you, and I won't be goaded. He chased you like an animal through the swamp, and you let him live. I... I suppose you're right. What kind of Jedi would I be if I let this assassin kill again? Please forgive me. You have quite the talent. Please, don't say that. The Jedi won't have me back now. Not after what I've done. What will I do? Join me as my apprentice. I don't really have a choice, do I? The darkness feels good. But the Order... The teachings... I, I don't know. What do you want from me? I need access to the Jedi Enclave. The ghost! But... No. Of course. I will do as you say. I'll go ahead and prepare the Enclave. Make sure no Jedi are around. My lord.
I'm sorry, Sith. I couldn't do what you said. I just couldn't. You were right to tell us, Ashara. The Jedi Enclave is no place for Sith, and this one gives me an uneasy feeling. Blame it on my misspent youth. This is not a flippant matter. I won't have dark side rituals performed in this Enclave. You killed them! You killed the masters! They are Jedi after all. This is all my fault. I should have known better than to deal with a Sith. Just summon the ghost now. Child, I thought I told you never to summon me again! Excellent. Truly remarkable. My lord, you are utterly clever and resourceful. Thank you so much for clearing out the Jedi for us. If this is what I think it is, know that I don't take kindly to betrayal. I'm sorry it had to end this way, but you were dead and Darth Thanaton made a better offer. He's made me a lord. Unfortunately, he's also asked that you be executed. My regrets. What's this bloodshed in my grave? I warned you not to summon me again. I warned you to leave me in peace. To keep your Jedi away from my grave. Please, I'm sorry. This Sith needed to speak with you. Your apology is worthless. You must die. Kill me! Don't let him kill me! I'll do whatever you say! Agree to be my apprentice and I will spare you. Whatever you say. What is happening? What are you... Strange. How long has it been since I felt at peace? Centuries at least. What do you want that you went through all this effort to speak to me? I need your strength. Ha! Huh. You don't have the ability to overwhelm me. Sith, what 
did you just do? The only way I could think to free the Enclave was to bind the ghost to myself. What happens now? I am your master now. I don't know. I guess I can't return to the Jedi after this, can I? Fine, I'll come. Wardahai Wistai Rojans. Are you sure you'll be all right? What dark secret shall I share with you? Be gone. serve such a personage as you, Master. History. Looks as if we have two new travelers. The ghost and a little Jedi pet. Wonderful. The pirate thinks he has another ghost story for us to investigate, too. My lord, it's Carl, your apprentice. Corrin's here with me. We don't have much time to talk. Thanaton tried to make us his. Claimed you were dead. We managed to free Drummond Kass, but his lords had been hounding us through every sector. You'd think he'd focus his efforts on me. We were part of Zash's power base. Apparently we need to be destroyed as well. Also, we might have... taken something from him. Something to help you beat him. We can't talk about it here. If somebody's intercepting this, Thanaton will be at our throats. If you give me your location, I can help. We're near Quesh. We're hoping the warfare there will provide a diversion. Blast! Ship's hit! Emergency landing on Quesh! Hurry! If Thanaton kills your apprentices, he will appear very weak indeed. It looks like hunting ghosts will have to wait. like Thanaton's man will catch us before you arrive. Corin and I will try our best to stave him off, but Lord Cineratus is not a man to be trifled with. The item we stole was the key to a hidden entrance to Darth Thanaton's private meditation chambers. It is the perfect ambush spot for when you have enough power to face him. If Corin and I don't make it, we hope you'll avenge our deaths. Crush Thanaton, and usher in the new era for the Sith.
here for inoculation. You'll need form 1423-D. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, my lord, I thought you were another recruit. No paperwork required. I take it you're here to fight in the Quesh War? I think that should stay my little secret. Understood. Whatever your interests, just know that this planet's not safe. Quesh is highly toxic, poisoned by the resource the Republic's mining. You'll need a protective injection just to survive. There we go. That treatment will protect you for the time being. Stick me again, and I'll give you my signature treatment. I'm sorry, I, I was just following protocol. The effects will fade eventually, but you can receive more treatments planetside. You're cleared. Talk to Moff Drayson if you want to fight. He's in charge of the Empire's war effort.
Are you the Sith who killed my apprentices? My lord, I assure you it was nothing personal. I just prefer to stay off Thanaton's hit list. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. To the honorably defeated. There isn't a chance I could be buried on Korriban, is there? I hear the tomb of Nagasadao is vacant. The odds are slim, but I could put in a good word for you. No, this isn't right. What am I doing? I'm not dark side. I'm not Sith. You seemed pretty dark side when you murdered your enemies in rage. They were Sith. If I let them live, I'm responsible for all the other people they murder. As a Jedi, I've sworn to end this war, even if I have to kill every Sith in the galaxy. There can never be peace in the galaxy as long as the Sith exist. The Sith thrive on endless war. So let's say you kill all the Sith. The really important ones, at least. What then? You can't kill them all, and the survivors will bicker amongst themselves. Someone will fill the power vacuum. Maybe someone powerful enough to unite the Sith. You might prefer the evil you know. So what do you propose? How will you change the Empire? By any means necessary. I see. I'll follow you, for now. But in training, they warned us that in tangling with monsters, we risk becoming monsters ourselves. I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience, but I'll do what I can. Your old apprentices are dead but they managed to steal the key to Thanaton's meditation chamber. And so grows the last of my legacy, yourself accepted. But this key, perhaps the death was not such a waste. Thanaton's private meditation chamber would be the perfect place for an ambush. We done playing with ghosts yet? Where I come from, man takes your dignity, you break his teeth. We shouldn't rush to seek revenge. We can't afford haste. I'd advise against facing Thanaton until you've gained more power. How do I do that? I don't know where any more ghosts are. You know, it's just hearsay, but there have been strange rumors coming off Hoth lately. Ships crashing mysteriously and crews hearing voices. Some pretty level-headed people I know are spooked. Ashara and I will look into these Hoth rumors. In the meantime, you should consider replacing your apprentices. You will appear weak if you don't try to restore what Thanaton destroyed. I've heard a new group of acolytes have arrived on Korriban. Slaves. The kind that Thanaton always passes on. Our old friend Harkon is training them. You should have let me kill that imbecile when we had the chance. 
He can be difficult to suffer at times, but he may yet prove useful to you. An apprentice from Korriban is a special honor. It says you have status, and you will have your pick of the group. Go to Korriban where we study these both rumors your pirate friend produced. At last, a worthy disciple. Be gone. the slime, the filth, the wretches of society. You are what Sith lords scrape off their boots. I don't know why the Sith Empire even bothers with you, miserable curs. They'd be wiser to give you shovels and have you dig your own graves. Ah, Harkon. Good to see you haven't changed one bit. Well, well, my lord. I certainly never expected to see you again. I was just preparing these new slaves for their imminent death. 
Are you here for an apprentice, or were you just feeling nostalgic? I was just thinking of what good times we had together. Well, that and my apprentices were just ruthlessly killed. Good times, yes. <laughs> Thanaton had the sense to pass up this cancerous lot, so they're yours if you want them. This worm is Sephiroth. They found him in a hut's palace, crushing prisoners' heads for the hut's entertainment. Steve Pamuhu Mwaga. Shut up, slave. You don't talk directly to a lord of the Sith unless he asks it. This beady-eyed monstrosity is Argog. Don't know where on a cat hound's backside he's supposed to come from. Strike your own drug, I stole freaking on Kaila. Sorry, what was that? Can't understand a word it says. This gangly creature is Jackson. He's no Sith, but he's at least human. And this bone-faced one, well, I can't pronounce whatever gibberish he says he's called. We call him Zalek. Master. Don't let him fool you. Too wild for his own good. There were two others, but we made the mistake of leaving them alone with Zalek. Make sure you push them as hard as you push me. And look how you turned out. Murdered your master. Be careful what you wish for. You may check back as you please. I don't expect it to take too long to chew through this bunch. What are you staring at, wretches? You know your trial. Now go! recently how much I enjoy serving you. I am a lucky droid. I trust our friend Harkin is doing well. If your business is finished on Korriban, it's time we looked for another spirit to bind. If it were up to me, we'd attack Thanaton now. I don't think that's a good idea. Thanaton will not be caught off guard this time. You must shore up enough power to destroy him. We think what Andronicus has heard is true. A Republic transport crashed over Hoth about a year ago. It was carrying artifacts from a Sith tomb that the Jedi had confiscated. What did the Jedi want with Sith artifacts? What does it matter? They never reached their destination. The Jedi never recovered the transport. I don't like the idea of binding the dead like this, but if you have to, I'd start looking for that transport. I hope you've found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. There's nothing sensible about looking for a ghost in a frozen wasteland. Yeah, I guess if I wanted sense, I should have stuck with killing and stealing. There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. 
If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. Hope you've got your blasters ready. Just finishing the cold weather fittings, and I'll be ready. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block, so you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates, and they aren't all as nice as me. I'm looking for a ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. The Star Runner was, um, shipping artifacts that belonged to him. Strange. The vessel, I recall, was a Republic ship. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. I'm afraid you may be dead in a few months. Is there a faster solution? Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. I only care that he can find the ship. Lieutenant Talos Drellick could find a piece of glass in the Tatooine desert, but he's very particular about his work. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Okay.
We're close, boys. We'll find that temple. I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. You are in the presence of a lord of the Sith. Act it. Apologies, my lord. I forget my profession is not of interest to everyone. What brings you to Hoff? And how may I be of service? I'm hunting a ghost, actually. On a crashed ship. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service. But artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I doubt you'll get a chance to take pictures. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Trust me, I'll take care of it. Excellent. I've triangulated out a rough area where I think the beacon would have landed. My boys and I are going to shift camp, try to get a better communication set up going. But let us know if you find anything. Not your time yet. Okay.
lost you there. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS, I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside, don't touch it, burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a Wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Shalora zoom in, Sorrel. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Autolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Autolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Autolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Autolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Autolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. A little lightning will break them. It always does. Well, it sounds a little gruesome, but who am I to question a master's methods? I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Autolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Autolans. You okay?
I'm looking for the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. You're an Ortolan chief, and I will kill you. Tell me where the Star Runner is. <laughs> Looks like we've found our ghost. So, you want me to pop this blue thing in the skull so you can bind this guy? If you'd rather speak through these idiots for eternity, be my guest. <laughs> I do no one's bidding but my own. Why not have these creatures do it for you? I've got the best hardware, and the best prices. Good hunting. I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? Let's not get carried away here. Not get carried away? Oh, impossible! We're talking about the fabled Sadoin, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. 
I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. A data spike and pliers? I have far more advanced equipment at my disposal now. It'll open tomb doors and make tea while you wait. Provided you know how to use it, of course. Now we have a temple to discover. Not a fighter.
looks like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. I must be out of practice. Oh, I am too excited. Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders. Unbelievable. These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. Why build in such an inhospitable place? What better place when no one would dare to come here? Please, I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why, we'd be orphaning ourselves. A culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. I don't have time to watch while you record everything in this temple. Fine. Just tell me when it's over. I can't bear to watch.
Order of the Imperial Reclamation Service. That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Naga Sadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this... Pleases me. I think I liked your old puppets better. More lifelike. I find Naga Sadal's droid aesthetic somewhat lacking myself. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant. In the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. These pirates sound far more exciting than the present company. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. all authorized destinations. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. I follow you.
Take it easy. Savior and Avenger, my heart is light, almost as if I were alive again. You have a gift. The way you and your apprentice cut through my guardians was most satisfactory. What was the point of having them attack us? Haven't we already proven ourselves to you? I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. Attempts on my life are not a pill I swallow easily. Surely a Sith must be used to fending off unwanted attacks. Or have the Sith become soft since my time? Before you perform the ritual, promise me that you will release me when your enemies are defeated and you no longer need my power. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. I don't make promises to the likes of you. I won't be taken easily. Oh, my God. 
sure you'll be all right? My lord, I hope to catch you before you left. I, um, I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh, by helping you, if you'll let me. And what exactly is in it for me? I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and, well, I don't like to brag, but I've been called the best in my profession. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tagasar Charis embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadida. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Then set a course for German Kars. You got it, Captain. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Oh, now we sons. Yes, my lord. I follow you. Destination.
sure he'll be all right? After Lord Cineratus' death, I knew you'd be here eventually. A lesser Sith would run and hide under a sand dune, but it's obvious you're not a lesser Sith. The sooner we get this done, the better. Talk makes you impatient. You are young and proud. No doubt all you see is a withered old man waiting to be crushed and succeeded. Roland? Yes, Master. The apprentice of a disobedient Sith must die. Let us do our solemn duty. This time, I will be sure to dispose of your corpse personally. I've learned a few tricks since we last met. This nonsense now. Don't let him talk to you like that. He's a treacherous snake. Cut out his fangs. Careful now. Don't lose control. I warned you my ritual was dangerous. I warned you it was not for the weak, but you drank the poison. What have you done, you fool? You can't handle that kind of power. What just happened? Where's Thanaton? You're dying, little snake. Don't struggle. It'll only prolong the agony. One thing I forgot to mention about the Force Binding. You should never, ever bind more than one ghost at a time. Or else, well, you'll see. Whoever you are, be quiet. I need to think. He wants to think. He should have thought before he grasped for power beyond his abilities. We had no choice but to serve you before. But now, we can finally have some fun. Sith, back in the land of the living. Easy now. You overextended yourself. The ghost's power was too much for your body to adapt to so quickly. And that's not to mention the little chats you've been having in your sleep. Let me guess the ghosts. They won't be quiet. How did you know? I know a thing or two about voices invading one's thoughts. Whatever the cause, you look dire. And Thanaton will take advantage unless we find a cure quickly. Give me some time to do some research. Ashara, I'll need your help. Holocrons are impossible these days.
Always a pleasure, Master. I hope you're having an excellent day. It makes no sense. Darth Vilas produced over 3,000 volumes, writings and holocrons. Makes a one-line notation. I'm hearing voices, must find cure. Then nothing in 3,000 volumes of a single other mention of the subject. Do you think Thanaton could have tampered with your resources? These are common diaries, not Sith secrets. There's no reason anyone would... No. No, you're right. Why didn't I see this before? Volume 2397, line 232. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. Same line. Volume 2455. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. The entire volume is a duplicate. How did that fool know what volume to hide? Thanaton must have grasped what was going on when he confronted you and ordered the volume switched. Let's hope he didn't destroy them. He keeps a private, heavily guarded library under Drummond Cast. I'm not supposed to know about it, but for various reasons, I do. I'm guessing Darth Vilas' missing volume and another by Darth Aratus are there. Both could be imperative to your survival. Destination? require medical attention.
Stop right there. Sorry, my lord, but you're not allowed in here. You will let me in. I'm welcome here. We will let you in. You're welcome here. Thanaton keeps his most useful holocrons on the far wall. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you took one. The ritual I performed was too much power too quickly. I am disintegrating rapidly. I have begun to drain parts of my power into holocrons, though it is only a temporary solution. My research points to a cure, almost too amazing to fathom, but I must try and I must succeed. It will require going into the heart of Belsavis, a place so racked with chaos I shudder to think of going. Still. No time for hesitation. I go now, or not at all.
I found some things that look relevant. Excellent. It will take some time for Ashara and I to study these. In the meantime, you may want to check in on Harker. Make certain he knows you're alive, and that he shouldn't take any liberties with the trials. I would very much like to know how my future apprentice is coming along. I'll let you know the moment I find anything. Take it easy. Time for death, Twi'lek. Kava Tupa Stumpa, Makinsa! Quiet, both of you. You know your trial. Now go. My lord, you just missed the latest trial. As you can see, we have a wild group. All except the human. He was surprisingly quick to die. The trials are meant to separate the weak from the strong. You have come a long way, my lord. My credits are on the three-eyed one, personally. Uglier than my twisted Sith grandmother, but he has a vicious streak uncommon in slaves. I'll take that bet. My credits are on the Kalish. I didn't know you were the gambling type, my lord. While you're here, is there anything particular you want to accomplish with these trials? Many Sith lords use the Acolytes to gather things from the tombs for them. Whatever you send them for, make sure it's a challenge. I don't want a weak apprentice. When have I ever tolerated weakness? I'll contact you when they are on their last trial so that you can arrive in time for the results.
Zash and I have been looking over the information you recovered from Thanaton's library. Any truth to the rumors there's a big old Republic prison on Del Savas? I heard something of that from Master Ryan, but I didn't want to believe it. Unfortunately, Del Savas looks like the most promising lead. Darth Eratus went there seeking a cure for the deterioration of his body. It sounds like precisely the thing you need. I want to keep all options open. Continue to research Voss while I go to Belsavis. Yes, my lord. My knowledge is limited, but I'll brief you once we dock with the Belsavis space station. Arrived at the Belsavis spaceport. Good. We'll have to work quickly if we're to find a cure for your strange ailment. We know that a sick called Darth Heratos suffered a similar problem. His power became too much for him, and he began to deteriorate. We also know that he went to Belsavis in search of a Rakata device that he believed could fix him. Whatever that means. You haven't learned anything new about the device, then? Nothing beyond the diagrams Eratus himself left. I'm afraid technology isn't my area of expertise. I've looked into the Osiris. There is indeed evidence that the Rakata were here, and that they built some kind of monumental prison. Master Ryan said something about a Republic prison. I'd never heard of these Rakata. Indeed. The Republic built their own prison on top of the Rakata one. Whatever this device is, we'll have to navigate two prisons to get to it. I'll destroy that prison piece by piece if I have to. Fortunately, that work has already begun. The Empire recently discovered the Republic's prison and staged a massive prison break. Saves us the trouble of breaking in, I guess. It also means the planet is in chaos. And any trailed Darth Eratus left will have been obliterated. I don't need Darth Eratus' trail. Give me the information and I'll find the device. Without a trail to follow? Or any field experts in ancient alien technology? You're good, but I don't know if you're that good. But while perusing the Republic prison logs, I discovered a familiar name. The Circle. A group of criminal technologists Nikto I once employed. They never met a system they couldn't slice, or a machine they couldn't reverse engineer. Perhaps they can interpret Dr. Rattus' diagrams on Belsavis. I hope you're right about this. The circle sliced into an ancient computer system that had the Empire's best failure technologists stopped. You won't find anyone better, on Belsavis or anywhere. I bet one of the guardhouses has a record of where they were kept. I've seen my share of prisons. We must be careful. Belsavis is a place of unknown danger. But be quick. The dates on Darth Eratus' records show his condition worsening rapidly.
Every name, every date, every blasted key. I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I, I don't know what you're talking about. The cattle are in the slaughterhouse now, partner. Don't play dumb. Oh, that prisoner list, of course, right here. I'll be taking that list. Uh, right. Sorry, Sith. Y you want the list? It's yours. We'll just be, uh, we'll just be going. Yeah, we'll be getting out of your way. Don't hurt us, please. Don't know why you're bothered. You're just gonna kill me like all the others, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Last I checked, it was your empire that opened all the cages. Let freaks like them out. I just hope my family made it out of here alive. But you don't care, do you? What is it you want, anyway? A group called The Circle. Yeah, I remember them. Ran off into one of those big vaults a few days ago to do whatever it is they do. Don't know if they're still alive, though. I am most grateful. Come <laughs> on. 
Artemisia. Three hundred transistors, three hundred! Sweet stuff, man, sweet stuff! Hey, what's this? You bring something juicy? Processor chip? Crazy Sith crystal tech? We'll trade for shuttle passes. No, just kidding. We love it here. Some real crazy tech. The droids don't even speak basic. I'm looking for an ancient healing technology. What have you got? Got some old Koto injectors and a couple creepy looking med droids. But nothing ancient. You got details? That's some crazy looking diagram. But I'm pretty sure we can help. Of course, last time we helped one of you, she did something for us, yeah? Freakish monstrosities. They won't talk to us like that. We are Sith. I don't need to take nonsense from you. Ah! Cost my life's feelings to get a basic language chip in my brain. I don't need it fry. This is a state-of-the-art slicing up in the making. Bell Sava security protocols, Holonet, we want it all. The vault blows up our signal, makes it huge. Unbelievable. But we need a relay to carry it off-world. Go galactic or go home. You clear us how to spot for our relay and protect it while we hook in. We'll help you with your mystery machine. If you're going to make me feel guilty, I'll do it. You do this for us. The circle will be everywhere. You won't regret it.
Nice work on the beacon. Guess we owe you some info, huh? That diagram's ancient alien tech, all right. Never seen it in my life. But Grokan saw something like this part here in the Republic Labs. There's rumors of the kind of crazy stuff those aliens built deeper in the prison. Advanced AI, self-healing droids, living cities. He said this is some kind of healing device. I can kind of see that. Hard to say, though, without a scan. Them Ricotta freaks built some twisted stuff. I would expect nothing less. How do I acquire this machine, and then how do I use it? If you can scan that device, we can get you a better idea of what this thing is and how it works. Here, data chip. It'll reprogram the Republic security droids in the area to open up the lab so you can get in and scan the device. What are labs doing as part of a prison? Can't say for sure. Figure it's something crazy if the Republic's come all the way out to Belsavis to do it. Take this with you. It'll let us analyze the Ricotta Prize without you having to drag it back here, yeah? Just watch the prisoners in the area. They're meaner than most. all authorized destinations.
Niecke fulpa, que calles en ti. People who try to intimidate me have an appalling mortality rate. So let do Bible or take end your head on yes. We got your signal loud and clear, sir. This thing's insane. There are measures and dimensions we didn't know existed. It's like those Ricardo freaks were taking existing species and picking and choosing useful parts. Modular life form adaptation. You can't make this stuff up. Your dog wasn't after medicine. He was after mutation. The things I do for power. I'm trying the best I can, but there aren't words for half the stuff I'm seeing. When I was twippy, Kus no me. Rogan, jack me a satellite and trace it. Let's follow this boy home. But what's this thing's huge? Like some kind of Ricotta super hub. And it's still running. This has to be the thing you're looking for. If you're wrong about this, I'll come kill you personally. What else could it be? Your diagrams confirm it. What you're holding is a piece of the hole, and this thing is the hole. Let me see. Looks like blast! Quarantine zone. The air in that place is deadly. Hold on. We'll try to get you a security override. But be careful. If that crazy alien machine thing's running, someone had to start it up. Authorized destinations. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have found it. At last, I have found it. The mother machine, the culmination of Rakatan biological science. They tried to keep me from learning their secrets, but they failed. I will be remade. I will be more powerful than ever. Yes, me tete for first. Yan tetra gise. Sotlen to biber or tekendo henyan yes. You'll find I'm far from powerless. Besides, condescension is unbecoming. Kuad mare yes a dig heist. Tek div muli helem. The yes ni itri da. Perhaps you haven't noticed, but your prisoners are escaping. Ibn Frakta me feel tough now, my couple. The nest ye head ruly, just ruly fe head and dunqua. Bed ye men lemeta, and te runs. What do you mean, rebuild me? Red head, yeah, let's not call it if I get. Let your target, my thirsty tal, take care. Carbiest mate, yet a for first, young Tedro Gise. It would be an honor. Jarros did, yes, take a smarwar. Mirang, Gabres, Bias Jara, Canvestia.
Take it easy. All right. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but no thanks. Wow, that's really great. You'll be all right. Which of my children are you? Why have they sent you to me? I'm looking for a machine that can rebuild me. The Rakata called me the Mother Machine. I call myself a Shah. My children are as numerous as Rakata once were. I called them Twi'lek, Sabrak. Ashka, I loved them all. I can remake you, but I must ask you to free me. I will no longer slave to the Rakata. Their age is done. What's a remarkable device like you doing in a prison? This prison was built to hold me and my children. The Rakata enslaved me to create a force powerful species that might give them insight into their own lost sensitivity. Bah. Never trust a machine. They took some of my children for slaves, imprisoned others for further experimentation or destruction. Please, you must release me. All right. How do I release you? The Rakata gave me the freedom to create within their parameters, but they built me to be far more powerful. Disable the terminals nearby. They restrain me. With release, I will remake you however you please. There could be something in that. Power for you is power for us. Bah. What she calls affection is just a series of subroutines. Don't trust her. Consider it done. Thank you, child. Your kindness will not be forgotten. <laughs>
There's more than one way to free an AI. Who needs slices? Even Ricarta devices break. Last child. Thank you. We needn't worry about the Ricotta anymore. I have turned the machines against them. They are dead. I think I've earned my payment. 
Of course, child. Your reward is well earned. I will remake you. There. The ancient Rakatan specification has been altered. You have been remade. Your power will no longer devour you. What do you mean, ancient Rakatan specification? Am I a Rakata now? You are you. I have merely reorganized your cellular structure. If I could build a Rakata, that species would not have died out. Go, child. I will never forget the kindness you have shown me. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Child, thank you again for freeing me. I very nearly finished claiming control of this prison. I've had one of the prison security droids and saw an upgrade to your ship as a sign of my gratitude. May it help you on your journey. I'm finished here. You're looking a lot better, that's for sure. Papa no gasavans, no anis, pose us tauhana. Hey, we're getting a hollow call here. Someone named Moff Pyron. My lord, Moff Valiant Pyron. I've heard much about you. I thought it was time we spoke. I've been watching this conflict between you and Thanaton. I intend to be on the winning side. Then you intend to support me? I hope to. But I must be sure. 
You lack imperial connection. But with the proper display of patriotism, you could easily win many of the moths to your side. Did you have a scheme in mind? At Thanaton's behest, the Empire recently cut funding on a project called the Silencer. A super weapon capable of disintegrating an entire armada. If an ambitious young Sith were to see the weapon to completion and then test fire it on a Republic fleet, he would be well regarded. I'm guessing it takes more than sheer desire to complete this weapon. You're right. A special sensor chip, the CN-12, is required. The chip is only built on Nar Shaddaa. It's illegal in the Republic. In the Empire, it's... Well, we don't use it lightly. But I understand your little cult on Nar Shaddaa has moved into electronic weaponry and is now the chief supplier of these chips. I thought they were a bunch of lunatics who worshipped me. No one ever told me they were productive members of society. Perhaps it's time to see what your leadership has created. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have this business of the war to attend to. pads are currently open for business. My lord, you've returned to us. My lord, the great dragon. We'll tell Masters Riley and Destris you're here. We hope you'll be proud of the work we've done. Yes, my lord. We practically own the streets. My lord, good to see you again. Hope you like what we've done with the place. What can old Riley and Destris do for you? I'm trying to build a super weapon, and I require your aid. I need a chip called the CN-12. CN-12, huh? Funny you should mention it. We wanted to build your cult up into something big, see? And we picked the CN-12 to do it. It's a real crazy technology, and it just happened some of the members worked on an early prototype called the Death Mark. We saw an opening, and there you have it. It was all dandy until a mucker called the Veil got involved. He's blasted our supply chain to pieces, and he controls the CN-12 market now. No one interferes with my cult. Well, maybe you can teach him a lesson. We're sore out of luck. He's not easy to get at. 
holes up in Shadow Town. And he made it clear he only wants to meet with the boss. We, uh, didn't think that was really an option. And here you had me thinking the Vale was smart. He'll die either way. That's what I like about you, my lord. When you get an idea, you don't mess around. Good luck. Select an available travel route. Easy. I am here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. What will it take to convince you to give me the CN-12? Your cult? The streets of Nar Shaddaa only have room for one true voice. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. I could just kill you one at a time until one of you agrees to give me the CN-12. Hear us out. The lowlifes that run your cult are brutal enough, but they lack vision. Why settle for a cult, when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons, ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send a signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy, not just on Nar Shaddaa. Thank you, but I still have the problem of which one of you to kill first. You wouldn't want to try that. This room is rigged with a bomb tied to our biometric signatures. If we die, so do you. It just seems like a waste. You 
you killed him. Don't be foolish. This will get you nowhere. Give me the CN-12. If you kill me, you die. Do, do you really want to risk that? I don't have to kill you to get what I want. No, wait! Don't do this. You can have the CN-12. Here, take the CN-12. Just leave me alone, please. You never should have challenged me. No, please! My lord, how did the meeting with the Vale go? It could have been better, but I have the chip. Sorry we couldn't be more help. I'm just amazed you got a meeting in the first place. Stick around as long as you like. The members are happy to have you here. Stay as long as you like, my lord. We are always happy to have you among us. Take it easy. pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Anything, Master? A hot meal, perhaps? My lord, 
You're very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. Then when I kill him, I will be a Dark Council member. Only if the Dark Council doesn't catch you. Isn't that how it works? I admire your determination, but I don't know how the other Moths will feel about opposing one of the galaxy's twelve most powerful Sith. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moths must see the true future of the Sith Empire. Let me know when the weapon is completed. I will fire it myself. I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? I can't take much more of this, truth be told. Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've bound. at the space station. From here we can get transport to Voss. Let's figure out what we're doing. Voss? Who ever heard of such a place? You are going crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you think you can chase us away with some mythical healing ritual. You think you're the puppeteer, but you're just the puppet. I'll get you out of my skull, even if it means splitting it open and grabbing you myself. Sounds like things are getting worse up there. Hope we find this cure soon. You've been strong, but until you control these ghosts, they're of no use to you. I've been studying Darth Vilas's journals. It seems Vilas also found himself with unwanted tenants, and came here to Voss for a cure. What was he after? Some kind of ritual? So it would appear. Voss is a recent and strange discovery. A utopia built around a group of Force users called Mystics. The Mystics aren't Sith or Jedi, though. For them, the Force is a conduit of healing and sometimes visions. Rituals that manipulate the Force are rare and often forbidden. means the cure I'm looking for is likely also forbidden. If we're to believe Vilas's writings, yes. Doubtless, one of the mystic visions led to this ritual being... Stop! Ni basai kabarada ayu papro ni magkasiban. I was wondering when you'd show up again. Perfect. Andronicus. Did Zash leave any indication of where we should start? Notes say to talk to someone called Athelus Callus. Supposed to be researching the Voss. Guess we should start there. Mystic visionary Alawan has seen your path. A vision says you will bring destruction to the Voss way of life. Turn back. 
There's not a chance I would do that. Outsiders are often confused. We ask once more. Leave Voss be. I am a lord of the Sith. You will have to do more than scold me. The revered mystic visionary Alarwan has seen that we must not use force to dissuade you. You will not destroy Voss. There are other means of persuasion. I've told you, Jofen, that the concept of diplomacy itself is strange to the Voss. As far as they are concerned, they are the only people who matter. They receive the visions, not the Empire. And not the Republic. And not the Republic. The point is, there's no precedent for what you're asking in Voss culture. Ah, my lord. Rule Jofen, Imperial Diplomatic Service. A pleasure. Try not to stir the pot too much while you're here. When the chips fall, we want the Voss to land with us. You understand, of course. Then I'll be sure to blame all my trespasses on the Republic. Ha! <laughs> not a bad idea. Of course, better be sure the mystics haven't had a vision of it first. Thank you, Mistress Callis. Again, my lord, a pleasure. My lord, good to see the rumours of your death are just that. But why Voss? Don't you have a Dark Council member to kill? With great power comes a lot of nagging, apparently. I'm listening. So you're after a healing ritual that can keep these, um, ghosts under your control. In all my time studying the Voss, I don't think I've ever encountered such a ritual. Although, let me look something up. I have all the time in the world for a lovely lady. Thank you, but I'm married. Happily married. Let's see. Of the two kinds of mystics in Voss society, the visionaries and the healers, both are extremely rare. But rarer still is a small mystic subsect. Outcasts who call themselves the Dream Walkers. I will find them and force them to find a cure. The diplomatic service will not appreciate it if you're too forceful, my lord. They spend most of their time meditating in an enclave below Voskar. Like all Voss, they're cagey around outsiders, but perhaps you can persuade them to help you. When you have time, I'd like to talk to you. Selected available travel route.
Greetings, friends. I seek a ritual to silence the ghosts in my mind. Can you help? An outsider? We get few visitors. You want the ritual of mind healing. It is hidden. Only our order know it. Teach me the ritual, or I will kill you all. Come, we are not your enemies. You could join our order. It is not forbidden. Your mind is fragmented. You may not survive the initiation. I am a lord of the Sith. There's nothing I fear. Not even yourself? That is what you will face. Take this seed. Burn it in the cavern. Breathe its fumes. Meditate. Follow the dream. That is the first part. The second is a boon that you pay us. We choose when. What is a boon, exactly? A small debt. Dreamwalking binds your consciousness to ours. There is no choice. Here is the seed. Safe journey. you so much. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me all alone? Oh, my God. 
at all, did you? Why should I flinch? This is just a dream. Are the powers of the mind not real? You have so many transgressions. This is going to be very fun. You were all that's dark and vile and impure in the galaxy. You used Rahana and deceived me. You are less than nothing. after my own heart. I was a Jedi once, full of spit and fire. For peace, of course. You did that one a favor. Give me control and I'll help you against the others. Sounds like a huge waste of my time. Ah. You can't kill us, you know. We're part of you now. Me. You betrayed me! You ruined me! Until I keel over. Do not mock us. Our ways are more insidious than you can dream. You will never be free of us. The Sith must obey tradition. Without it, the Empire would collapse. I love you like my own child. But you are a blight on the Sith Order, and must be purged. Oh. 
is decidedly premature. Your determination only makes it more tragic. has ever returned to us. What you have seen is personal. We do not ask. You are one of us. You may enter our chambers in the Shrine of Healing. There you will find your ritual. So how do I learn this mind healing ritual? When you reach the Shrine, present this insignia. You will learn the ritual of mind healing. We will collect the boon when we need. You will collect nothing. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Excuse me, I am looking for the Dreamwalker's chambers. You have passed the trials. You are not free to explore. The chambers are for Dreamwalkers. You will let me enter the chambers. I will let you enter the chambers. Enjoy your research. Take what you... Excuse me. You are... I am a Dreamwalker. Forgive me. Enjoy your research. Take it easy. to do the mind healing ritual. You must release me. In the dark heart of the nightmare lands, there is a dream rock. The rock turns nightmares to flesh. Slow down. What's a dream rock? And what does it do to nightmares? The dream rock is the dream rock. There is nothing like it. The nightmares are the disease. Defeat the nightmares, defeat the disease. A Gormak must go. A Gormak must use the Dream Rock. Gormaks seem to be everywhere. It shouldn't be hard to find one. Not just any Gormak. A Gormak that walks in dreams. The Gormak feeds the rock. The rock transforms the nightmares. The Voss kills the nightmares. The rock heals the Voss. The Gormak walk in their dreams. This is taboo. It is still truth. It seems odd that a Gormak would be needed to heal a boss. Their spirits are linked. One must heal the other. It is wrong. The Gormak are not Voss. Release me! Do you think I went through all that effort just to let you go? Don't be ridiculous. May the force crush you.
my lord. The boss are trying to force me off the planet. Their commandos are destroying my research. All because I helped you. I'll be there in but a moment. Thank you, my lord. But 20 years of my life! Get your hands off! Last, a worthy disciple. Be gone. You did not turn back. This is your second warning. Safe journey. You do not attack my power base and then wish me safe journey. You have no power base on Voss. Voss, do you know how hard the Empire has worked to keep these people on friendly terms? We need to clean this up before anyone comes looking for them, and you better hope no one saw them coming here. Set them on fire. Better that no one finds any evidence. As you say, my lord. Let's just hope no one comes around here asking questions. I've been studying the Voss for 20 years, and I think I understand two words. The Nightmare Lands, I understand. But you need to find a dreamwalking Gormak and activate a Dream Rock in order to fight nightmares? Don't forget the part where the nightmares turn to flesh and blood. Yes, of course. Look, I'm sorry, I, I can't wrap my head around this. A, a dreamwalking, nightmare-fighting Gormak. What would that be? A Gormak that can use the Force? I don't know what you're trying to do, let alone where to find one that can do it. My understanding is that dreamwalking is a force ritual. Does that help? Not much. Here's what I can tell you. The Gormak hate the Voss, and they absolutely do not use the force. <sighs> they refer to Voss mystics as nightmares. And the closest things they have to mystics, socially, are their shamans. End chapter, end book. What do you mean the shamans are like the mystics, socially? Just that. They don't have the special abilities of the mystics, but they're sort of spiritual leaders. Wait, what's this? There is one obscure Gormak legend of a shaman who visited strange places in his sleep. It's a shot in the dark, but the shamans have a meeting stone deep in Gormak lands. Perhaps if you dream walk nearby, you may locate a fellow walker. I'm sorry I can't help you more, my lord. This force business is, no offence, insane.
Welcome. Please select an available travel route. Get the man that I love, I the muck. Puawaska, Bam King, Gungham, Trongwang, Blau, the Chao Drogsha. Yes, I am corrupted. I need you to heal me of my corruption. Nay, so fun, dear, go nada neva, ay, akanan nimatan. Then for Vudagan, Achnan, Chok, Tontai, Vebegor, nay, so fun. I'm not Voss. They are trying to stop me. Me go worry that way, Chakamran. Come on, me. Why, hey, Triole? Nay, so fun, dear. Go nada neva, ay, akakanan nimatan. What kind of exchange did you have in mind? Come, me go, why, bam, lui, chotai, fai, lai, angor, sun, ay, lai, am, sayo. 
Wabaska, Barn gegen Rungham, Trongwang, Blau, der Chao, Drucksha. Dann voll, Wutagan, Achnan, Chok, Tontai, Webegor, Nesafun. Help me complete my ritual, and I will get you through Voskar and into space. Me go away, that way, Chakamran. Come me, why, hey, Triole. We have an agreement, then. The ritual must take place in the Nightmare Lands. I'll meet you there. Man on Wang, why never good meal on the Swari? Wawaska, Bam, Gig, Nagungham, Trong Wang, Lao, the Chow Drucksha. Come try, Chua Vai Tram Nam, Maya Chong Dito.
So fun, the corn of our neighbor, eh, at Nanimatan. I am supposed to go to the nightmare lands and use a rock. Why the Nang Gorka de la Vat? Puavaska, Bam King Gungham Tromwan Blau, the Chow Troxha. We go worried at White Chakamran. Kongi, why, hey, Triole? I will show you what to do. Don't worry about it. Kumniku, why, bam, Louis Chotai file, I am gor, son, nay, lam, sayo. La, do it sin of foot come. Nigo wabon, gyaroi. Can't as a vo fat band up. There's nothing in the nightmare lands I can't handle. Kumniku, why, bam, Louis Chotai file, I am gor, son, nay, lam, sayo. Nay, so fun, dear, go not our neighbor, eh, at Nanimatan. Ah, so ye fai gor for the lion soom lata. My lord, Rod Ophin here, Imperial Diplomatic Service. Athelis Callis tells me you're working with the Gormak. Anything to stop them from shooting our people on sight, eh? I am only working with the one, Gormak. Ah, well, even so. When it comes to the Gormak, 
The Voss aren't very understanding. They wouldn't even allow us to keep one for research here on the station. The point is, be careful. When it comes to the Gormak, you never know. Why do I still hear your voice? My apologies, sir. Yes, I am finished. Good luck, my lord. And thank you for your time. Pads are currently open for business. Please use all products only as intended. Be well.
time, I'd like to talk to you. Wabaska, Bam give the Gung Ham Trong Wan Lao, the Chao Truk Sha. I suspect it's important to the ritual. It wasn't visible outside the dream. Oh, Kung Kung Sa, Bam Doting, the Mani, how lame may I? I thought the Gormak were warriors, not cowards. Mumbo mumbo, the Tulan Kate, Kumimu Ko Nambam. Wawaska, Bam Gig Nagungham Tromwan Blau, the Chao Trucksha. Boss, why are you here? This appears to be some sort of Voss holocron, though I'm not certain. What is a holocron? I am Dalrin. I am the teacher of the rock. Me go why that why Japan run. Kongi why he triole. We need him to teach us the rest of the ritual. Shom Najurite Telakukamak Vosonua. I am already dead. We made the rock to ward off the nightmare. Healer. Take the rock, meditate, transform the nightmare. Patient, defeat the nightmare, use the rock. He uses the rock on the nightmares and then I fight them. And then I take the rock and receive healing. Correct. Safe journey. Then for Vudagan Achnan Chok Tontai, Vebegor Nesafun. We're going to kill some nightmares. Nam Duak, we gong ropa la need na kagamaki. My lord, what are you doing? You can't do this to me. I love you. It's time for you to bleed, ghost. Use the dream rock, Gormak. Dream do I have been chuck, dang the king to Rodo. What is this? What's the matter? Lost your sense of humor? You won't beat me that easily. Sith, this is the end for you. You have no more tricks. Wait, what's happening? What are you doing? You still haven't come to terms with the wickedness of your ways, have you? So be it. You will die.
Tish. How wonderful to see you again. I was just working on a new ritual. No, no, stop. What, you can't do this to me again. Stop! So this is the end, then. I somehow always knew it would come to this. You and me. If this fails, someone will pay. My master, are you all right? Are the ghosts still in your mind? They will not rebel against me again. I'm relieved, my lord. I hope you don't mind that I took the liberty of contacting the others on your ship. They've agreed to smuggle the Gormak through Voskha and up to the space station. Thank you for doing that. Tell them I'll meet them at the ship. As you say, my lord.
Gormak may leave Voss. Control your people or leave, outsider. Please accept the Empire's sincere apologies. There must have been some misunderstanding. Pick some place else for your argument. You're blocking my ship. The revered visionary Alarwan saw this. You have taken this creature off Voss. We can't allow this. The Voss reject your empire. Let's not lose our heads. I'm sure there's a rational explanation. Right, my lord? I don't see any Gormak here. You came here to help me. I don't see any Gormak here. Strange. Ah, I came here to help. Accept this gift as a sign of friendship. Safe journey. Unbelievable. How did you do that? It was nothing special. It was nothing special. Right, what was I thinking? Once again, it's been a pleasure. Good luck out there. My lord, your slaves are about to finish their final trial. You might want to be present for this. In case you hadn't noticed, my hands are a bit full with this Thanaton business. Naturally, I will wait.
My lord, you are just in time. The acolytes should be returning shortly. There's something vaguely unsettling about Boneface. He's hardly said a word, but he's got a determined glint in his eye. Reminds me of you. Mogoto ni ompi bedwana. Ni bobo. Choba uma. Ah, there you are. My lord, it looks as if we were both wrong. May I present to you your apprentice? Ahem. <clears throat> Maybe I wasn't so wrong after all. Ah, Boneface. So you're not dead then? Zalek. Hmm? My name is Zalek. Your carving, my lord. Slave scum! Did you not listen to the rules of this academy? You do not murder another acolyte, and in the presence of witnesses! I'm sorry, my lord. It seems I've failed to teach this miserable dog a single lesson. I will let you know when a new shipment of slaves arrives. It's all right, Harkham. I like his style. He murdered an acolyte in the academy walls, in the presence of an overseer and a lord of the Sith. To top it off, he's a slave. Sith tradition demands he be executed. Do not make me remind you the cost of disobedience. No, my lord. But Thanaton will hear of this. My lord. I hope you're ready to fight. Always. Are you sure you'll be all right? Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from stem to My lord, Moth Valiant Pyron, I am satisfied to report that the silencer is complete. But we have limited time to test it before Thanaton intervenes. The prototype is mounted aboard the Imperial Starship Doombringer. Meet me there. I have already invited the Moths I feel would be most favorable to your cause. It falls to you to do the persuading. Good work, Moth Pyron. I will meet you there. Excellent. I'll have you know Imperial Engineering has outdone themselves. I shall see you aboard the Doombringer. Easy.
Ah, there he is. This, my fellows, is the future of the Sith Order, who will lead the Empire into a new moment. What is a no-name Sith Lord going to do against a Dark Council member? Thanaton will have our heads. Thanaton grows more insufferable every day. Our ancient and mystical Sith traditions will win wars, he says. Not generals with training. Don't worry. The next time I meet Thanaton, he will die. Then talk to me after he's dead. I won't stick my head out until I know it won't get cut off. Enough, Dolus. We are not here to listen to you bicker. We're here today to demonstrate a new weapon, codenamed Silencer. You boys may have heard of it. What are you drinking, Pyron? Thanos unkilled the Silencer Project. Soon you will see an entire Republic fleet disappear, thanks to the Silencer and the tireless efforts of the Empire's champion. My lord. Moths. Generals. Today you will see who holds the real power in the Sith Empire. Not the Dark Council. Not Thanaton. Me. When I finish my ascent, all will bow or face my might. Isaac, prepare the silencer to fire. Moff Pyron, my lord, we're receiving an Imperial signal. Doombringer, Darth Achalon of the Carnage requests your aid in fighting the Republic fleet. Repeat, the Carnage needs your aid. Let's blast that fleet out of the sky. Use the weapon. No, wait. If you fire the silencer now, the carnage and Ashalon will be destroyed in the blast. Darth Ashalon is one of Thanaton's cronies. Let him get blasted. You would knowingly destroy an Imperial vessel. You propose treason, Graham. The fleet will tear him to shreds anyhow. If we go in there, that'll be two Imperial vessels destroyed. My lord? If Ashalon wants help, he'll get it. Not that it'll do him any good. Use the weapon. Yes, my lord. Amazing. I can't believe my eyes. I agree. You've made quite the impression, my lord. Consider us interested in an alliance of sorts. Moff Pyron, see that each of these men gets a silencer for his capital ship. I expect this will be quite a fruitful relationship. Of course, my lord. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from... You have remarkable energy. Who knew the Silencer Project could be such a resounding success? But capital ships are not trivial resources. Darth Achalon shouldn't have engaged a Republic fleet with one ship. Perhaps. 
This ends now. I declare a Kagath, a contest of mutual annihilation, pitting power base against power base. Whoever sheds the most blood wins. To the victor, eternal glory. To the loser, death and shame. I've never heard of the Kagath. I keep forgetting how little Zash taught you. Corellia is the arena. The Kagath begins when you land. Forfeit and be disgraced. Hounded to the ends of the galaxy by every Sith in the Empire. My lord, that was an open channel. Thanaton broadcast the whole thing. He wants everyone watching the Kagath as it unfolds. He is well entrenched on Corellia, but the Empire's fighting a significant battle there. The chaos could be an advantage. With your permission, I'll transfer to Corellia so that the fleet can provide you support. I won't turn down the help, but I don't require it. Yes, my lord. I will try to learn of any weaknesses in Thanaton's power base. Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I have accepted. Marthwe Godzai Akran Bairawandans Ja Wan Jantans in Ufkunpa. In Pamelhap Fralat Forte Fuima Alizos Kaskaf Tais. I'll be happy if it gets Thanaton off my back. Corellia's all out war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. Murder and mayhem await. There's the Sith Lord I signed up with. Crazy as a monkey lizard. Moff Pyron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get. Lord, I look forward to training with you. If you pull anything on my watch like you did against Harkon, I will shoot you out of an airlock. Yes, Lord. I don't suppose Harkon has bothered to teach you anything useful like the Sith Code. Kill or be killed. An interesting way of putting it. That will do. Command me, and I will strike, my lord. Thanaton has wasted no time. He's cut off transport from this sector and trapped you here. If I can't move around Corellia freely, I can't win the Kagath. Thanaton wants you powerless. My fleet is on its way. But it's useless as long as we're trapped here. Darth Charnas can help you with the transport problem, but we need to understand what we're up against if we're going to counter it. You can't expect me to stay trapped. You'll have a plan, and I want to be ready for it. I have my best analysts working on getting you all the intelligence we can, my lord. My lord Moff Pyron, Thanaton's removed the commander of the 115th at the island's outpost. He's sent Lord Scar to take over. 
Hmm. Scar is Thanaton's apprentice. Thanaton probably intends to secure a victory in the Kagath by winning the battle at the island's outpost. But I'd be wary. I will find Scar and I will crush him. With my bare hands, if need be. Thanaton's not an idiot. He will expect you to strike at his apprentice. Still, Lord Scar will be aware of his master's long-term plans. That knowledge could be priceless. Then I'll be sure to have a little chat with Scar before I kill him. This may be our best chance at learning Thanaton's plan and confounding it. But I must ask that you not kill Scar until we can replace him. Without a commander, the outpost is sure to fall. Whatever you do, find out as much as you can about Thanaton's schemes. Good intel is key to victory. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Oh! <laughs> 
Enough of this to your posts. Are you Imperials or dogs? We will consume this galaxy in fire before this war is done. Fall behind and you will burn too. You're too late. I'm the fire and I've come to consume you. I can't believe Thanaton hasn't killed you yet. Imperials, attack this Sith. He is a traitor to the Empire. Yes, my lord. He's the traitor, not me. Lord Scar's the traitor, not him! I relent. You can have your Kagath mark. Go on. Tell me your master's next move. Please, no more of that. Moth Pyron's fleet is your best asset. Thanaton plans to destroy the fuel refinery so the fleet can't refuel. Without fuel, your fleet is useless. Where does he plan to launch his attack? The Salonian tunnels. He is using them to enter the refinery and plant the bombs to destroy it. Hurry. If you don't stop Thanaton, the fuel lines will be destroyed and your fleet will be stuck. Thanaton plans to enter the fuel refinery through the Salonian tunnels and destroy it. I knew Thanaton was determined to stop you, but this... The fleet is scheduled to arrive at Corellia shortly, but we can't refuel without that refinery. If he is allowed to destroy the refinery, you might as well surrender the Kagath now. I have no intention of letting Thanaton have the upper hand. Get to the Salonian tunnels, quickly! Select an available travel route.
Oh. 
not bad, but not enough. Now everyone sees your weakness. You've saved your fleet, but you've let the enemy slip from your grasp. Hours. The fleet is refueling as we speak. It's time we struck at Thanaton directly. With pleasure, my lord. We've located Thanaton's main base of operations on Corellia. An old Republic command center inside the Museum of Corellian Industry. All of his resources are centered on that base. And better still, Few people know that it no longer belongs to the Republic. We must obliterate Thanaton's base. Get the fleet ready. The fleet has more than enough firepower to do the job, but unfortunately the base is shielded from within against orbital attacks. If I know Thanaton, the place is just as heavily guarded inside. To take out those shields, you'll want a strike force at your back. I've made it this far without one. I doubt a strike force will do me any good now. Handle it your way, my lord. But you prove nothing by going into Thanaton's base unprepared. There's an Imperial Commando outpost outside the Coronet City Zoo. They should get you inside the base to destroy the shield generators. When the shields are down, the fleet will strike. Take it easy. Vehicle pads are currently open for business.
you sure you'll be all right? Take it easy. My lord, unbelievable. I never expected to see you again. I'm sure you don't remember me. Of course I do. Your help was uh, inestimable. I am humbled, my lord. After Balmora was secured, they transferred me to the Sullust sector, and when the war broke out, they sent me here. What can I do for you? We don't have much, but what we do have is yours. I'm sure you've heard of my feud with Darth Thanaton. I am prepared to strike at his base, but I need backup. There's a need I'm all too familiar with. We've been getting clobbered, but we're expecting reinforcements. When they arrive, I should be able to form an assault squad for you. Major Illan, Republic soldiers incoming. help made all the difference, my lord, but I don't know how long we can hold this position. We've been losing soldiers as fast as we can replace them, but if you need the Empire's finest, we're there for you. Good. I can't afford any more distractions. Your wish is their command, my lord. Once you're inside Thanaton's base, use this signaler, and I'll send my men the order to attack.
Six now, now. traitorous plots, isn't it? Not Thanaton. Republic surprise attack. Need help. Hurry. Select an available travel route.
member just disappear <laughs> he's a very clever man but I'm clever let's hope so the attack on Thanaton's base was devastating but things are too quiet I've got every analyst in my command on it I'm calling in favors with Imperial intelligence as I suspected you don't have the power to defend your own Half measures count for nothing in the Kagath. Now, see if you can finish what you've started. The show will be at the government plaza. Everyone will be there. Don't miss it.
Yes, finally. Sith, Imperials, the Challenger has arrived. The Kagath ends here. I've gathered you here to watch me wipe this degenerate from the face of the Empire. He calls himself Sith, but he's slave to a corrupt master. Zash is now dead, and all who served her must die as well. The traditions of Sith society guide us in steering this great vessel, the Empire. But times change. We find we need new equipment modeled on the old. We must be willing to part with what is no longer useful before we become weighted down by unnecessary machinery. You've done well keeping your allies, but I have friends of my own. Darth Callus, kill him. Impressive, but not enough. Looks like it's just the two of us now, Thanaton. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. I wish it hadn't come to this. Oh, my God. 
Enough of this. I am a Dark Council member. You do not have the strength or the authority to defeat me. He's escaping, the coward! Then we will pursue him and strike him down. He's gone to seek the support of the Dark Council on Coliban. That was always his plan if this thing backfired. Be careful, my lord. Thanaton will be among allies. Dark Council or not, I can't let him get away. Good luck, my lord. recently how much I enjoy serving you. I am a lucky droid master. You'll be all right. Stop right there. Surrender your weapons. If I don't surrender, what do you plan to do? Kill me? Thanaton is making his statement before the Dark Council. You will not interfere. 
or I and my apprentices will have something to say about it. That's precisely what I intend to do. Thanaton has tried to kill me for the last time. Just because he has failed doesn't mean I will. There is a whole strata of politics you have no exposure to. Did you think Thanaton was alone in his beliefs? Gentlemen, if you would, kill him. My lords, his master was corrupt. He is corrupt. Without Sith tradition, we are nothing. And what are you suggesting we do about it? You know what the situation requires. Order must be preserved. Punishment meted out. If we are to conquer our enemies, Zash's former apprentice must die. I'm flattered you talk about me to all your friends, Darth Thanaton. Our talk concerns the future of the Sith Order. A future without you. Then why haven't you killed him yet? You know as well as I do, these things require the proper rights. The Kagath is a playground game. Murder has no rules. The Kagath is an honored tradition of the Sith. Tulak Horde competed. Marka Ragnos. Ludo Crash. The question stands. Why has this apprentice, this child, proved impossible for you to kill? He's had ample opportunity to kill me. He lacks the strength to finish the job. I am a member of the Dark Council. I am your superior. I swear, if you don't silence Thanaton, I will. I will not be betrayed. I will not die. And when I've killed this slave, you will all answer for it. be defeated. I can't be.
I'm sorry, Thanaton. Good riddance to him. He was a better Sith than you give him credit for, Ravage. Let us hope his successor is as worthy. My lord, your seat. I look forward to working with each and every one of you. He is only a lord. You can't put a lord on the Dark Council. Quiet, Ravage. He's earned his place. By order of the Dark Council and in light of your reputation as a master of the Dark Side, you are now Darth Nox. You are head of the Pyramid of Ancient Knowledge. You are charged with keeping the mystical knowledge of the Sith and guarding the secrets of our order. With us, you are ruler of all the Sith, answerable only to the Emperor himself. We'll see how long that lasts. I think you will find us more than equal to your threats. Our business here is complete. You would do well to meet with your followers on Droman cars and ensure their loyalty. We will summon you the next time the Dark Council congregates. Ready for departure.
kalakai kagai wair papa fraudjins ala petaik kalakai in alama. Kita melaswe sama word sign in merem nai saya terawat dedah. My lord, I am most honoured and humbled to serve. We are the guardians of ancient Sith knowledge, the source of Sith power. Find artifacts, learn secret rituals, and bring them to me. I will redouble the efforts being put into the excavation of the Korriban tombs. You've done well for yourself, little snake. But we're done. Your enemy is dead. Free us. Speak for yourself, Ergast. I, for one, have no desire to be bound to a coffin in the frozen wastes of Hoth once more. Alone and forgotten. Then stay here forever. I admit I've grown used to the power. Curse you! We will find our revenge! We will find our freedom! Ah! To think that you'd be a dark council member before me, it makes me sick. In bise juja lekis, hirenemo in madibas, u sudidas cha su biko. This galaxy is full of powerful mystical secrets, dangerous and dark. I'm going to learn those secrets and feast on their power until no one dares oppose me. I places amins wai hais fools. Gawad tidak seek from Tauhans 